Podcast DJ. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so here again, your English teacher in France. How are you? Thank you so much for coming. So let's let me welcome all the people here in the chat room right now. So let's welcome everyone, Corazon Explorer. Thank you so much for coming. That's actually uh, Selfie Queen and Diaries. Thank you so much. And Pinay Annie in USA, of course, our very supportive friend from the US. And Corazon Explorer is from the Philippines. <clears throat> We also have William Manuel Talagtag. Oh my God, you're here. Thank you so much for coming. You are very supportive. You are very supportive, guys. William Manuel Talagtag is a very supportive friend, okay? So um, she or he, <laughs> because this is a couple actually, he or she actually uh, don't uh, vlog much. So it's just oh very God. active supporting friends, okay? So I hope you guys can hear me. Right? Can you hear me, guys? Yes, no problem, sis. Been in USA. I understand. Hello, Jade's Word. Hello, hello. Yes, Jade's Word, guys, is my is one of my wonderful friends from Philippines. And actually, he used to be my co-teacher as well, an English teacher from Philippines. And now he is actually teaching or working in Vietnam. Welcome, Jade's World. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Thank you for coming, Jada's World. My God, what time is it now in uh, Vietnam? I think it's already very late, isn't it? You must be uh, very tired now or sleepy. But anyway, today is Friday. So, you know, Friday, TGIF. So everybody has something special on Fridays, right? So I guess everybody here can actually sleep late or stay up late right <laughs> hello fanzo welcome to my live stream fanzo thank you so much for coming guys another content consumer and a very supportive friend of ours uh fanzo okay fanzo from germany let's welcome fanzo thank you so much fanzo and we also have Aurel Jumailing, that's actually your Peace Forum family. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for coming. And of course, thank you so much, everyone, for your thumbs up. Wow, I really appreciate everybody's presence tonight. So I hope you guys are going to be very, very open to our, uh, you know, to uh, learning different languages. Because actually tonight, in today's live stream, in tonight's live stream, we will be learning different languages from different people here in the live stream okay so i hope um some of our guests tonight will be uh, actually be willing willing or they will be willing to share different languages that they have i mean the languages they have in their own country but i hope not the bad words okay so i actually have written their hashtag no bad words so no bad words for tonight's learning we will just be learning for fun okay so we will have fun Yes, there might be nose bleeding, but we're going to have fun. We're just going to have a lot of those, uh, what, nose bleeding of ours, right? <laughs> yes, thank you so much, William Manuel Talagtag. Thank you, everyone, for the thumbs up. Thank you so much, sis, our Ruby Sworn family. Oh, my God, baking cake again, Fanzo. Ruby Sworn family is baking another cake again tonight. <laughs> I hope I can actually try your baking, our Ruby Sworn family. 
So Jedi's World, thank you so much for coming. How are you, Jedi's World? How are you? So right now, guys, I'm just actually going to wait. We will just wait a little bit uh, for uh, our friends. So I'm pretty sure in a few minutes they're going to be here because, you know, we have other friends as well who are actually live. So, yes, that's how it is. When we have many friends and friends go live at the same time, <clears throat> we really need to, you know, stay patient. And yeah, still, you know, we stay being very supportive. So I hope you guys can see my camera clearly because I'm not sure with my camera tonight if it's very clear. So let's drink some water before we're going to have the ball rolling. It's cold, guys. Yes, actually, yes, fans, okay, again. Hmm. It's cold, everyone. Fanzo, is it cold in your... In your place, I mean, has it started to be cold, Panzo? <clears throat> Ooh, very cold, my gosh. Or maybe I'm just nervous. Oh my God, nervous looking at you guys? It's impossible. Why nervous, teacher? <clears throat> so there are five people now. <laughs> are you guys just looking at me right now? <laughs> Come on, how was your day, everyone? Anything uh, special or have you got any new story? New story to tell? Fanzo, William Manuel, Kalagtag, Zadis World, Ruby Swarm Family, Pinay Ani in USA. Have you guys have, you know, have you guys had any new story? Uh, Selfie Queen and Diaries. Oh my God, I'm shaking because of coldness. I need some warm to not warm. Okay. Yeah. So Fanta said, I just got home hungry. Yes, it's starting to get colder every day here. Yes, very true, Fanta. Oh, my God. Shaking to the bone. Ah, I hate cold weather, Fanta. Who likes cold weather here? You should come visit France or uh, <laughs> go to cold countries. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> So what are you going to eat, Fanzo? Hello, hello, sis, Marcus Rich. Welcome, let's welcome everyone. Our beautiful friend, Marcus Rich, who is very good at, you know, putting makeup on. So if you're interested, guys, you can actually visit her channel. She has a lot of makeup tutorials, and actually she has started, you know, uh, giving makeup tutorials during her live stream. Is it interesting? Yes, of course. It is very interesting, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is. It is, guys. <clears throat> I just wanna be na, 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 na. sorry guys advertisement for a while guys what why am I shaking every time I face you guys <laughs> why am I shaking every time I face all of you <laughs> why is that so? All right, so let me just check here. Guys, your teacher tonight is shaking. Shaking, 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 shaking. <laughs> so guys, actually, yes, so uh, tonight's live stream is going to be extra special. I hope it's going to be extra special for all of you guys. Yes, Marcus Rich is laughing out loud. You are very welcome. Everybody is welcome to my live stream tonight, of course. And I hope you guys actually had a real fun, and I hope you enjoyed the live stream which i had last night that was actually featuring channel so uh probably in the future i'm gonna do another thing like that so if you guys are interested to have your channels featured during my live streams please don't hesitate to comment down below on this on this live stream or any of my videos or probably that live stream which i had about featuring channels you can comment below so that i can also feature your channel in the next live stream of mine all right so 10 people watching right now thank you so much everyone welcome welcome <laughs> Welcome, live in United Kingdom with Buzz, our ever very supportive, ever, ever, ever friend from the UK, live in United Kingdom with Buzz. Gwen, welcome to my live stream. How are you? Wow, everybody's just looking at me right now. You don't want to speak at all? Come on, guys. <laughs> all right, so guys, tonight, Panzo, hi, fish and chips in UK. <laughs> Fish and chips, wow. So did you love the fish and chips of life in UK with Buzz Fanzo? 
Did you love it? Fish and chips? <laughs> All right, guys. So actually, you might be wondering, why is the teacher nervous or looks like, or why does the teacher look like very excited tonight? Well, guys, I had a wonderful sleep tonight. And sad to say, I was not able to go to work. <laughs> Guys, really earlier, I'm in um, in the daytime. I was not feeling good at all. I was uh, I had a terrible headache, and uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe because of my eyes. So I'm not so sure exactly. So I didn't go to work. Yeah, so I just sent a message to the school that I was not feeling well. So I just really stayed in bed. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how long I slept tonight? Can you imagine? Hello, Sunday Molino, Gemma Norway. Welcome to my live hello hello thank you for coming welcome to my live stream how are you Sunday Molina uh, Gemma Norway how are you I hope you guys are doing great mm -hmm. all right so yeah Sunday Molina guys uh, Gemma Norway we have been connected for quite some time now but um, I have just visited her uh, live streams, actually. So I have visited her live streams. She also goes live, everyone. <clears throat> Fish and chips is like a uh, national dish here. Yeah. Hello, a cobra four, five, six. Oi, oi, how's teacher today? Here's your apple. <laughs> Thank you so much, a cobra four, five, six. I'm feeling great, guys. Can you imagine? I mean, can you guess how long I slept today in the daytime? I just stayed in bed all day. I actually woke up at around 8 a.m. because uh, I wanted to go to work. But after like two minutes, oh, my feeling was terrible. So I decided not to go to work. So I did not go to work really. Why are you not wearing <laughs> Oh my God, your teacher is very hard headed. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, I always forget to wear my glasses, guys. <laughs> oh my god, teacher is like a child, guys, not wearing glasses. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me for a second. So here we go. Yes, teacher, why aren't you wearing glasses? <laughs> Nosebleed me host, no problem, sis. Sunday Molina Gemma Norway, no problem. Because I think you are in Norway, right? So there's also nosebleed in Norway. Nosebleed is everywhere, guys. We Filipinos can actually uh, hug the, uh, the nosebleed and we can cover, we can wipe the nosebleed with tissues or hanky. <laughs> Teacher, even a busy needs some rest. Yes, busy bee needs some rest. And I also did, guys. Can you imagine? Yes, I woke up at 8 a.m. today. And yeah, I wanted to go to work, but my body did not allow me. Really, I was uh, like, I was weak. I mean, I didn't want to. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I prepared. I, I already did like this. I put makeup. I wear clothes. I mean, ready to work, but suddenly, oh, terrible. So. In the end, I stayed in bed again uh, because my husband was uh, free, so he took care of the baby. And I went to bed again and imagine I didn't have breakfast, I didn't have lunch. <laughs> I woke up at 3 p.m. Guys, <laughs> look at my eyes, look better, no? <laughs> guys, I woke up at 3, 3 p.m. Can you imagine from like maybe uh, 10 a.m.? Yeah, I went back to bed and then I woke up at 3 p.m. Wow, amazing rest of your teacher tonight. Yes, a cobra. <laughs> yes, I have glasses, guys. So actually, if I wear glasses, there's going to be a reflection of the, uh, the lights here on the, on the roof. Yeah, I'm going to be wearing glasses because I'm facing the computer, so trying to protect. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to remove it anyway. Um, from time to time. So how are you, a Cobra 456? How are you? Sean Williams, hello sis. Welcome to my live stream again. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate your presence tonight. Welcome, welcome everyone. So if you guys are actually, if you guys actually have some friends from different countries, so please feel free to invite them to join in our live stream tonight because we will be very happy or we would be very happy if they got um if you guys or if they actually are willing to share the different languages that they have in their countries right yeah yeah that's that's gonna be uh everything for tonight's live live stream okay <clears throat> 
Yeah, so Fanzo, hi. Yes, everyone. Shout out to everyone who is in the chat room right now. So there are actually 10 people watching right now. Thank you so much, amazing people. So guys, aren't you wondering what's going to be the topic tonight? Of course, you might not be wondering because you can already see that when you enter the chat room, right? Any question, everyone? Life in the UK, wow, it's dinner time. Yes, it's very true, but you know, I had my late lunch, very late lunch. I woke up at 3 p.m., so that means to say I actually had my lunch probably like, it was brunch, anyway, brunch. Uh, I had it at uh, uh, 3.30 or something. Yes, very late, so going to have late dinner as well. Yes, right, everyone. So, guys, <clears throat> tonight's live stream actually, is about so before we're gonna learn uh, different languages or foreign languages from different countries okay so let's talk about mm -hmm, are you guys ready yes I guess because there are 11 people watching right now so I guess it's a good timing to start what is really or what's what's really the thing for tonight's live stream so I know we've been live uh, for uh, already 16 minutes now so 16 minutes live and 11 people watching right now isn't it amazing that's great so anyway before anything else so let's finish giving a shout out to everyone here yeah shout out to all the people who just actually uh, or for all the people Early birds here, okay. Corazon Explorer, that's Selfie Queen and Diary, shout out to you. And Pinay Annie in USA, shout out to you, my very kind and supportive friend. William, Man uh, William Manuel Talagchad, shout out to you. Jadis Burrell, shout out to you, that's my friend from Vietnam. He is also an English teacher. And Ruby's Farm Family, shout out to you. And of course, our very, very supportive content consumer friend, Fanzo, shout out to you. And we also have Martis Ruiz, shout out to you. Life United Kingdom with Bud, shout out to you. Sunday Molino, Gemma, Norway, shout out to you. And of course, our very supportive friend from the UK. He's actually, he's from the UK, but now he lives in the south part of France. A Cobra 456, shout out to you. And of course, Ian Williams, shout out to you, my dear friend. Friend. Okay, shout out to all of you guys. And of course, we've got a newcomer here. Let's welcome everyone. May Crest Solis. Welcome. Welcome to my live stream, dear. How are you? <laughs> yes, uh, you're turning into a vampire teacher. <laughs> Yes, a cobra. I was turning into a vampire, but luckily I was able to stop this, you know, this process of turning into a vampire. So I hope I actually look better tonight. <laughs> In last night's live stream, I was just hiding behind the camera, but uh, and luckily I had a problem manipulating or uh, navigating the technology <laughs> last night. So accidentally, I appeared <laughs> on the stream last night accidentally with that condition. All right. So anyway, um, a cobra four five six sleep all day up all night. Classic vampire teacher. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, right, guys. That's how it is. Um, anyway. <laughs> It's okay as long as we don't forget to take some rest, you know. And guys, let's welcome our very supportive friend, Color Maker Channel. Guys, is here. Welcome, Color Maker Channel. How are you, guys? By the way, Color Maker Channel, uh, channel, guys. Let's congratulate him because he is very near to review. I mean, uh, reviewing his channel. His channel is going to be on the review. That's going to be tomorrow for sure because yesterday he only needed 70 hours for, her, for his watch time. And today, only 30 hours watch time. And tomorrow for sure is going to be on the review. So congratulations in advance, Color Maker Channel. Yeah, shout out to you, Color Maker Channel. May Crest Solis, I'm very good host. Thanks, Paul. Oh, yes, very welcome. Very much welcome, dear May Crest Solis. I think it's your first time uh, <clears throat> in my live stream, right? So, guys, May Crest Solis actually just started uh, vlogging and just started her channel, I guess, because she has 61 subscribers right now. So, if you guys are interested, please try to check her out. May Crest Solis. Okay, she's got two videos for now. So yeah, obviously she just started. 
yes so that's it guys so anyway what's for tonight's live stream okay so if you guys are very interested to join me live here or to join uh here on my live stream tonight please feel free to let me know in a few minutes because i mean after we actually start learning different languages from different people in the chat room <laughs> yes yeah, so please feel free to tell me and in that case i can actually share to you the link to my palace okay so yeah so the first thing we have to do is actually to discuss mm -hmm -hmm. let's discuss guys the benefits of learning a foreign language mm -hmm. the benefits of learning a foreign language so let me ask you guys okay before i tell you all right let me just change this one it's very big okay i guess this one is better all right so let's control this shower. okay so guys let me ask you first um in your opinion what are the benefits of learning a foreign language mm -hmm. what are the benefits of learning a foreign language yes you heard it right okay let's try to check the chat room here <clears throat> yes thank you so much may Chris. thank you so much <clears throat> you are very welcome uh, color maker channel <clears throat> um our money at the hot 90s man's meat hello hello kumusta? yes actually guys our money at the hot 90s man's meat he always tries to speak filipino but actually he is not filipino i think he is from uh, nigeria or africa our money can you let them know yes welcome our money at the hot 90s man's meat all right so guys now let's actually answer the question before we start learning different languages from our guests tonight let's try to discuss the benefits of learning a foreign language so in my case you know i have been an english teacher for many years now and now i live in france i'm living here in france it's about almost a year now i have been living here for almost a year now so that means to say i'm also learning foreign language but you know it takes time to learn a foreign language but in your opinion what are really the benefits of learning a foreign language why do we need to learn a foreign language why uh-huh so let's try to read the messages of the people here <clears throat> so armani akahab's 90s man smith actually said self-confidence wow it's very true so one of the benefits is actually you know having or to have self-confidence when we learn a foreign language and we, we when we go to a certain country which has this language that we are learning or that we have learned yes of course we're gonna have definitely we're gonna have self-confidence all right so let's have another opinion here from fanzo fanzo said foreigner uh-huh or it means foreign language for the future will be mandarin <laughs> benefits for business oh yeah you've got a point there Fanso, because i think uh you know the fact that chinese people are actually very active in uh, when it comes to uh, you know the business world everywhere around the world there's always uh there's always chinese or there are always chinese people oh yeah cobra he's nigerian our money yes our money is nigerian yeah i know because i sometimes visit his channel uh he actually also goes live uh, sometimes so uh, yeah so armani aku black indian hawaiian i mix ah so you're not nigerian you are indian mixed hawaiian oh that's interesting mm -hmm. thank you so much for coming armani aka hot 90s man man smith so i want to ask us um from the people here in the chat room okay for those people who actually haven't expressed their opinions on the benefits of learning a foreign language or foreign languages a cobra 456 or his name is actually terry terry can you tell us or can you tell can you share your opinion to our guests tonight what really are the benefits or maybe you can give one benefits of one of the benefits of learning a foreign language um the cobra 456 okay so cobra 456 is probably thinking of his opinion right now so uh, i'm pretty sure when he has his opinion ready we're gonna be really uh you know learning a lot so let's have here other people's opinion 
Um, yes. Well, yeah, Manuel Talagdag. Yes. Shout out to everyone. Yes. Uh, thank you so much, William Manuel Talagtag. God bless you also. <clears throat> so we have here our friend, guys. Martis Rich said, one of the benefits of learning a foreign language is actually best opportunity to get a better job. Mm -hmm, very true. So actually, one person has given this self-confidence from Armani Alcohol's 90s. And uh, who's that? Um, Fanzo actually expressed the Foreign language for the future will be, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, beneficial for a businessman or having business. It's very beneficial to have a foreign language. Yes, Armana, you see, Armana Haka, Armana Haka, Armani Aka Hux is from India, but now he is speaking Filipino. Walang anuman naman. <laughs> wow, that's very interesting, Armani. You're able to speak our language. That's actually our national language. The Filipino language, guys, is our national language, okay? But of course, in my case, I am actually from Cebu. So, of course, in the school, we are taught how to speak Filipino because it's our national language. So, we have a subject that we studied in school. But, of course, my language, I mean, main language is really, uh, you know, I speak Bisaya, the Cebuano from Cebu City. So I speak uh, Bisaya very well, okay? For Tagalog, I can also speak, but I cannot say that I can do it well, okay? But of course, I can speak English well, uh, in my opinion. <laughs> okay, so we have another opinion here from Martis Rich. Martis Rich said, here in the U.S., if you are bilingual, you get more pay. Wow. So you see, that's also beneficial when it comes to your salary. Wow. More pay if you know more languages. Oh, that's interesting. It's really beneficial, you know. So we have your Armani Aka Hobbs 90s man Smith. He said it creates more opportunities and helps us expand our horizons as an individual yes very well said obviously it expands our horizon yes very true <clears throat> and we also yes finally guys a cobra or terry actually has expressed his opinion he said to speak to my girlfriend in her own language wow so that's actually yes for a cobra guys because his girlfriend is actually a filipina so in his case learning a foreign language which is filipino probably right terry so you are learning Filipino. That's going to be very beneficial for him to speak to his girlfriend in, you know, in in her own language. That is Filipino. Yes, it's going to be beneficial. But also for your girlfriend's case, uh, Terry, it's going to be beneficial also for her to speak your language. Okay, because um, of course, obviously, the first time you actually meet or the first time you met. Of course, the language that you used was actually English. And probably this time, you are exchanging languages, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So we have here Armani Akahat's 90s man Smith. He said, I was born and raised in Texas. Wow. So you must be very fluent at English, of course. <coughs> Um, a cobra said, Armani, you're from Bangladesh. You told me, oh, yes, a cobra. Where are you really from? <laughs> oh, Ar Armani, Aka has 90 smells me. You are secret or this, the, the bin has been spilled by Terry. <laughs> okay, guys. So actually, yes, we have different fans. So he, he, okay. Why he, 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 okay, fans. So <laughs> why he, 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 okay. Armani Akahaps 19 Man Smith said, Rish, Martis, Rish, Kumusta, Guapa. Yes, guys. So you might be wondering, there are some Filipino languages in the chat room. And there are also English. There's English, there's Filipino. And maybe later there's going to be more. Or there's going to be, yeah, more languages later. Okay. So Fanzo said, Terry, can you speak Irish? Mm -hmm. Because I know Terry can speak French well because he has been here in France for like, 12 years now or 10 years. Am I right, uh, Terry? Yeah, so uh, I'm wondering really if, yeah, okay. So guys, once again, uh, after like maybe uh, 10 minutes, I'm gonna start inviting people here to my, on my live stream. And if you guys are free, you know, only if you are free, please feel free. <laughs> 
if you are free please feel free to join me here live tonight okay so let's have your color maker channel said arabic also teacher yes arabic we can also learn arabic tonight from our wonderful friends here and Armani Akahap said, you might as well stay in the zoo because you're always lion all the time. <laughs> no, he's not a lion. He's a cobra. Look at his name, a cobra 456. But he has a beautiful name that's actually Terry. Uh, Fanzo said, color maker channel, Arab. But I'm not reading this because I'm not sure what the meaning is. So before I read that, can you explain what this word means, Fanzo? Because actually your message has been hidden okay so i'm not sure if it's actually a very uh, good word or i don't know so maybe we need to ask color maker channel what's the meaning of m-u-s-h-k-i-l-a that's actually from fanzo maybe you cannot see the message because it is held for review fanzo i think so ha 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 oh you're laughing so that's probably you know okay akubra said Irish is Gaelic. It's very hard. Uh huh. Yeah, it's hard. I think, but uh, I guess we have had a guest before. He's actually from Ireland. Uh, I remember that was uh, Irish Paul. That's his name. I hope he can actually visit tonight. Hi, David Roger. Welcome to my live stream. Thank you so much for coming. Here we go again. Another very supportive of our very supportive friend of ours, David Roger. Guys, is here. <clears throat> Color Maker Channel said that's a problem means teacher problem. So Color Maker Channel, Arab, ah, Arab is a problem, you mean? That's the meaning? Yes, I hope uh, it's uh, that's the meaning. So guys, um, maybe you can see that I have written actually their hashtag, no bad words. Yeah, so I just don't want to have bad words in my stream tonight. But of course, oh, some people enjoy, you know, using bad words like for fun, but uh, for tonight, I hope we are going to avoid uh, using those things, okay? Yes. So, some of you guys actually have already expressed your opinion on the benefits of learning a foreign language. So, if you guys have more opinions, please feel free to express those opinions of yours. So, now I'm actually going to start giving you more benefits of foreign languages, okay? So, the first one. Mm -hmm. The first one, guys. Here we go. Okay, the first benefit of, you know, this is actually a very big adv advantage <clears throat> because as you know, um, you know, we need to be really awesomely hyper to survive in this, you know, very, how can I say, very, how can I say, very crazily, you know, modern world. We need to be super hyper, yeah? So that means we have to develop some special advantages or very, I mean, a lot of advantages to uh, survive in this uh, really modern world. So uh, we need to help ourselves, you know, stand out and make ourselves better fit for survival in the modern world that we have. So, you know, our world becomes more and more connected through uh, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of countries, a lot of people, different people from different places. So it's really becoming increasingly, you know, obvious to uh, actually learn another language or a foreign language, which is beneficial for many reasons. OK, so one of the reasons is actually number one. I have posted it there on the screen. OK, can you see that on the screen? I have written meet new people. Okay, so that's meet new people. Do you agree, everyone, that uh, it's really beneficial, a foreign language is, uh, learning a foreign language is beneficial to meet new people? So right now, here in the chat room or in this YT world, we always meet different people, right? From different corners of the world, right? Every day. So we always meet every day. So we have here another opinion before we explain about meet new people. Let's have here. Fanzo said, Arab, not easy to learn. Uh-huh, okay. Life in UK with Buzz, that means no way, pal, in Google, Google. uh-huh, or no problem. Okay, so that means to say color maker channel really explained it well. So that's actually, I'm going to show this message of Fanzo because people, more people have explained the same thing. So it's very safe. I have actually shown Fanzo's message, which was hidden, okay? Yes, guys, so once again, of course, I'm not sure if uh, if 
you guys agree with that opinion okay, let me just check the message here because i'm reading your messages here guys on the on my phone and i'm using my laptop for my notes to uh what to uh, to put on my screen okay or on my monitor <clears throat> yeah so yeah so uh, we have here the first one actually guys is meet new people so do you agree that if you learn a foreign language it's actually beneficial to you know meeting new people do you agree well of course you know one of the most uh, one of the most uh, phenomenal benefits of learning a new language is actually you know this is uh, you know the door is opened to you around the world of course obviously if you know many languages yeah and if you're learning in a, you know for example group setting you can immediately have new friends to share your new language with if not then once you go uh, anywhere or when you go to a certain place um you are actually able to uh, you know use what you've learned and you will be surprised how open some people are when you speak their mother tongue you see if you speak their mother tongue they they cannot really appreciate so because they appreciate you because they are happy you try to speak their language you try to use you you try to speak using their language of course they're gonna appreciate it and you're gonna start the friendship you know so it helps you meet new people mm -hmm. no opinion here in the chat room <laughs> People here in the chat, chat room are very busy meeting new people. <laughs> yeah, so guys, it really helps meet new people. So now, guys, I'm going to ask you, anyone here would, you, would like to join me here live? Please let me know, and I'm going to give you the link, okay? So please don't be shy. Please don't be afraid of nosebleed or whatsoever, okay? <laughs> yeah, so um, actually, I can invite maximum of five people but if there are more people joining here live tonight then we're gonna do it in a different how can i say different uh, i mean not at the same time because uh, more people more more than five people won't fit on the live stream we only have five more spaces because i'm the one so usually six on the stream so i have here the first one so only five more but it may be from the five people one of them's gonna go or maybe has to do something then another person can't replace so it's like that tonight guys so very welcome guys let's welcome our very wonderful friend joby may hello joby may welcome to my live stream how are you okay so we have here a cobra 456 opinion he said i think everyone should learn english it is the international language with exclamation point guys exclamation point it means to say that is with strong emphasis of course english is international language and it's very obvious and it's very uh really true that you know we can make friends everywhere if we speak english but yes a little bit i uh, somehow uh, what i have a little bit of how can i say disagreement not really disagreement but a uh, different opinion to uh, uh, Terry because actually yes English is international language Terry but you know in some countries okay in some countries who are uh, I mean in some countries which have people or uh, some countries which are non-English speaking countries you know uh, it's a fact that uh, some of them they don't really speak English especially to uh, foreigners if they're not good at you know using the English language so in that case, we need to learn their language. We need to learn the basic things about their language before going to their country, right? Um, Terry, do you agree with me? Yes, I hope you uh, you agree with me. I think you agree with me. Ah, uh, teacher, very positive. <laughs> okay, so Marcus Rich said, I want to see Fanzo to be in the screen. Oh my God, Fanzo, come on, Fanzo. You're gonna be on the screen tonight, Fanzo. That is uh, someone's special request, Fanzo. Okay, so guys, Martis can see me. Yes, Fanzo. Martis wants to see you because she cannot see you right now. Okay. And Life in United Kingdom said, I second Martis. So you've got two people now 
who want to see Fanzo live, okay? So at Cobra456 said, if I join you, teacher, there will need three spaces because... <laughs> <laughs> Terry, my gosh, you never failed to make me laugh. <laughs> well, Terry, I think it's sweeter when, you know, when uh, many people are in one space. Uh, yes, you're going to probably need bigger space and others will just take the smaller space for them. <laughs> but it's going to be sweeter to be together in a small space, you know. <laughs> Okay, let me check the messages here. Uh, Fanzo said, Muy bien, Joby May, you? Okay, so that's gonna be Spanish, right? Because Joby May is from Spain, guys. So you see, we have different people here with different languages. So I hope, guys, we can actually share different languages tonight, okay? So Color Maker Channel said, Fanzo, that's easy to learn when you are here in Arab country. Yes, it's easy to learn um, Arabic. I think that's what we're talking about joby may said me too i want to see fanzo oh come on fanzo you've got four people now who want to see you live with me here tonight so fanzo what's gonna be the deal really uh fanzo said color maker i was in kuwait years ago i just remember the world mush mush mushkila i don't know how to pronounce that muskila or mushkila or <laughs> so maybe we need to invite Color Maker channel tonight's live stream so he can actually tell us um, how to pronounce this word that they have used and what it really means. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> go, Fanzo, go according to Joby May. Fanzo, come on, get ready yourself because you cannot refuse people's request here. It's a special request from our guests tonight. Okay, Fanzo Martis, Joby. May need maybe not today. Oh, come on, Fanzo. Guys, let's welcome our another dear friend, very supportive content consumer. Shine, amen. Welcome, hello, teacher, and everyone. Bell not ringing again. Oh my god, you might need to change the battery. Shine, amen. <laughs> yes, you might need to uh to change the battery. English is such a great key to open any door all around the world. Yes, that's that's exactly what I just mentioned a while ago. It actually opens the door to uh, everyone around the world and, you know, to meeting new people. That's actually the first benefit of learning a foreign language, which is meeting new people. And Shine Amen is talking about English in uh, here, okay? So we're not just focusing on English here, but you can actually talk about different languages because, um, you know, we have guests here from different countries. Yes, uh, many Filipinos as well, but you know, Filipinos in different countries for sure. They also they have also learned the foreign language, uh, which is in the country where they live now. All right. So Color Maker Channel said, "Okay, Fanzo, join to our teacher in live stream that can see you in camera. Let's do it, brother." Yes, Fanzo. Oh Lord. <laughs> Yes, Fanzo, because Cooler Maker Shanna is going to uh, to join us tonight. So, Fanzo, you're going to join us as well. Okay, Fanzo? <laughs> oh, Lord. Joby May said, Estoy muy... I'm, I am not sure if I pronounce it correctly, guys. Okay? Estoy muy bien, Fanzo. Gracias. Oh, I'm speaking uh, Spanish now. Actually, guys, um, for uh, when it comes to Filipino language... Our language is actually mixed of uh, Spanish because, you know, if you know about our history, you will know the answer why our language is a bit of a mixture of Spanish. Panso said, I'm not up to date with this live stream, guys. Old school. <laughs> Come on, lame excuse, Panso. That's going to be a lame excuse. Sorry, guys. Shine Amen, of course, Spanish may be very useful as well in South and Central America. Yes, a lot of people speak Spanish uh, in the part, right? Oh, teacher, that's uh, water here. So, <clears throat> the table is wet. Let me just excuse me for a second, guys. I just want... Guys, I'm wondering, is my camera clear enough tonight? Can you let me know if uh, I need to change the camera or I need to change my face? 
<laughs> wow, 15 people watching right now. That's very great. Thank you so much, everyone. And of course, thank you so much for your thumbs up as well. Okay, so let's welcome everyone. We have another friend here who just arrived. As Fancil said, she's always late, but late is better than never. Let's welcome Jennifer Abelas. Bonsoir, Jennifer Abelas. How are you? <laughs> How are you? How are you, Jennifer Avalos? Yes, guys, so the first one is to meet new people. That's the first benefit of learning foreign language. What's the other one? Okay, let me just uh, post the thing for the other one, okay, in my magic book. Okay, so we have here the second one. Uh -huh. Guys, the second benefit of learning a foreign language is actually for employment. You see, that's what actually Marcus Rush mentioned few minutes ago or almost an hour ago she actually mentioned that if you if you learn a foreign language or if you are bilingual or if you know more languages you can actually have more opportunities to get a job okay and you will have more pay as well can you imagine wow more pay because you know more languages yes isn't it amazing guys so yeah, let's learn foreign languages tonight. Okay, let's learn foreign languages tonight. So actually, guys, yes, it's very true because, you know, employers going to love it and they will love you more, really, if you speak a foreign language. Um, if your curriculum vitae, you know, includes uh, fluency in a second language, your chances of employment, uh, you know, is really much greater or your chance, okay, I mean your chance of employment or your chances, okay, are really much greater for you than those who speak only one language. You see, do you agree with me? If you know more languages, you're going to have more opportunities, you know, to get employed than those who only know one language. And of course, like Marcus Rich said, like what she said, she said, you're going to have more pay as well. So that's another benefit, you know. Okay, let me read. Uh, okay, so we have you. Hello, welcome, Charlene Sikihor, USA. Welcome to my live stream. Fanzo Color Maker Channel, go first on live stream. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, come on, Fanzo. So, Fanzo, the deal is uh, <clears throat> Color Maker Channel actually is going live here with me, and then you're going to follow Fanzo. All right? Yes, how are you, Jennifer? Uh, no, not Jennifer. Um, Charlene Sikihor, USA. Juby May said, you pronounce it so well, teacher. Oh, thank you so much. I guess all of us Filipinos can pronounce Spanish uh, more easily than other languages, right? Juby May, because of our language as well. <clears throat> Jennifer Avila said, Aku Eka 15, I guess. Hello, everyone. I'm good, teacher. Yes, it's great to hear that, Jennifer Avila. A Cobra 456 or Terry said, Spain ruled over the Philippines for many years. Yes, so you know it, right, Terry? That's why um, some of the words that we have, uh, Filipino language, I mean, some of the words are actually Spanish. For example, uh, friend in English. In Filipino, we say amigo, amiga. That's also the same in uh, Spanish, right? Yeah. Uh, Jennifer Abela said, yes, classmate fans, though, I know I'm late, huh? as, as teacher said, better late than never, agree, teacher, yes, fans of Jennifer, if you would be coming late to work, no money, <laughs> well, it, it's okay to be late for class, fans, though, as long as not late for work, right, that, that's actually what, who was that, who said that before, I think that was David Roger, David Roger said, it's okay to be late as long as you're not late for work, and hello welcome everyone wow interesting name every one that's actually everyone hello hello welcome to my live stream thank you so much for coming so guys yeah that's the second benefit of learning a foreign language okay so if you guys are actually ready to join us here tonight come on let's make the evening more interesting with your presence on the live stream tonight guys everyone so let's have here Oh, Fanzo, guys, has changed his <laughs> Fanzo has changed his profile name. He has become an animal. <laughs> Fanzo, I didn't see that. I, I just actually checked here. That was before I'm in your profile picture, but now it's different, Fanzo. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so where is the stream yard now? Okay, here. So that's actually the second benefit, guys. Employment. 
And fans of Jennifer, uh, no, everyone, fans of Jennifer, Dubai people late always. Uh huh. Fans is asking if uh, the people are the people in Dubai always late. Uh huh. -huh. Okay, guys. So that's actually the second um, benefits of learning a foreign language. Okay, so guys, who would like to join me here before we continue to the third benefit of learning a foreign language? I think I have actually prepared how many. How many benefits did I prepare tonight? One, two, three, four. Okay, let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I have prepared, guys, seven benefits of learning a foreign language. Okay, so if you guys are ready, come on, join me here. But if you guys are still eating, just finish what you're doing now, finish what you're eating, and then I am very open if you're going to actually join us here. <clears throat> Jenny, I need a cafe. Ah, coffee, that's right. Shine Amen. Maybe Fanzo is a Buddhist believer. Will rebirth as a dog. <laughs> yes, guys. So, you know, Fanzo, the first photo, no face. Second photo with a lot of trees, like in the middle of the forest. Third photo is an animal. So probably the next photo is gonna be a person, guys. Yes, I can't wait. I can't wait to see that. Uh, Jennifer Abelis, guys, share us your knowledge about other languages. No fun, so people in Dubai are not late. Shiny man, she couldn't. She could me and an ah, she called me an animal. <laughs> no, not you yourself, but the photo you have there. It's a dog, right? Isn't it? Yeah. Jennifer Avila, shine amen. <laughs> Jennifer Avila is laughing, guys. Come on, guys, join me here. Terry, are you ready to join us here? And I'm going to have nosebleed again with a British accent. <laughs> but I love listening to a British accent, you know? Right, shine amen? <clears throat> Fanzo said, it's my dog teacher. Oh, sorry, Fanzo. It's your dog. Oh, that's a very wonderful dog, Fanzo. Wonderful looking dog. I don't think it's your dog. Are you serious? Wow. Very good looking dog. It's a dog. It's a dog. Next photo, Panzo, your face. Yes. Thank you so much, sis. Charlene Sikihor, USA. Thank you so much. Guys, let's welcome. We have another friend here, Munen C. And hello, welcome to my live stream. How are you? Wow, you're here again. Actually, Munen C, guys, has been here in my live stream many times. Okay, we have been connected for quite a long time now. How are you, Munen C? And thank you so much for coming. Fun, so teacher, yes, it's a dog. You need new glasses. <laughs> And so actually, the glasses I have now are actually new. I, I had this made here in France, okay? Because I had mine made in the uh, Philippines, but uh, I think I had that I had had that for a long time, so I decided to change it when I when I what? When I was like uh, how, how long? Maybe I had been like uh, during my probably fourth month here. I had this changed, yes. <clears throat> oh, very expensive here, guys. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> Munen Sin, yes. Joby May, I'm just here listening while preparing for dinner. No problem, dear Joby May. You are actually the same as live in United Kingdom with us. I know it's dinner time in Europe now, okay? So you guys don't forget to prepare dinner, especially to your husbands, so that you won't be in trouble. <laughs> like me <laughs> no i can prepare my dinner late because my husband arrives late as well all right shine Eman said uk accent is a real punishment for teacher what do you prefer speak it or listen to it <laughs> shine Eman, of course you know the answer i prefer listening to it okay that's why i would like to invite terry tonight to actually share his british accent here tonight right shine Eman? Color Maker Channel is giving a shout out to Charlene and everyone here. Okay, so that message is for you. Pencil said, Shine Amen, American English teacher in France. <laughs> so, guys, yes, Pencil, ha ha ha. Come on, guys. Um, it's uh, the, the stream is very open now to people who would like to guest here on my live stream. 
please feel free to say yes i am in and i'm gonna give you the link a uh, cobra 456 said glasses made in france are so expensive well actually yes but this one is uh, okay advertisement a little bit this is actually gg barcelona okay gg barcelona this is uh, made in uh, spain yeah but uh, they have a shop here in france but i think the items that they have some of the items are actually from different countries and this one is from spain yeah yeah from spain Oh, I forgot. GG Barcelona is the brand. Uh, not sure. Yes, this uh, this is made in uh, uh, Sp uh, Spain. Yeah, this is made in Spain, guys. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, so, guys, are you guys ready? Shine, amen. Yes. Hello, everyone. By the way, for everybody who is new here, I would like you to know that Fanzo Shine, amen. Yeah. So, for these two people, they are actually content consumer guys. So, uh, yeah, it depends on you if you're gonna really create friendship and you know uh, keep in touch with each other. All right. So, guys, before we proceed to the next benefit, the third benefit of learning a foreign language, I am waiting for your answer, guys. If you're gonna join me here, okay? And or maybe I'm just gonna proceed to the next one. All right. Fanzo said, "Made in." Pain raw material is from China. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, these glasses actually has great quality, guys. Great quality. I cannot see the small letters here. Yeah, the quality is amazing. You know? I can't read exactly. You know, your teacher has a terrible eyesight. Not really terrible compared to others, but I cannot see. Sorry. I know it's made in Spain. Oh, maybe I have it here. The box. I still have the box, guys. Yes, this is the box, and I have this. Yeah, this is actually, yeah, so mm, it's made in uh, Spain. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, so much about glasses. Let's proceed to our ma main topic. Okay, Terry. Yes, no problem, Terry. Please, uh, please enjoy your meal, okay? No problem, Terry. Wow, 17 people right now. Thank you so much for coming, guys. I really appreciate your presence. So now I'm just going to actually continue with uh, the other benefits of learning a foreign language. 18 people right now. Wow, amazing, guys. Thank you so much. So the next benefit of learning a foreign language, I'm just going to continue. And you guys are interested, let me know because Terry is still eating right now. Yes, so we have the hello Danak channel. Welcome to my live stream. Live in the UK. I'm good, Danak channel. How about you? How are you? Live in the UK with Buzz. That's how it is. Usually materials bought from China and assembled somewhere else. Yeah, but I think it's not really the the quality is very good, guys. I can say that. Uh teacher, that those glasses made in Philippines. These glasses, you mean? No. You mean these are made in Philippines and they send it to Spain and they send it to France? <laughs> what do you mean, Color Maker Channel? Yes, thank you so much, sis. Corazon Explorer, guys. Corazon Explorer is actually at Selfie. Uh, she's actually Selfie. Where is that? Selfie Queen and Diaries. I'm not sure if I write it correctly. So that's actually Selfie Queen and Diary. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for being here just listening there i really appreciate it okay so yeah 18 people right now so i'm just gonna might as well continue to the next benefit of learning a foreign language because later is gonna be more interesting we will start sharing different languages okay so yeah so the next one guys excuse me color maker chan is laughing oh my god <clears throat> okay the next one guys is actually the other benefit of learning a foreign language is actually about traveling that's good for traveling guys do you agree learning a foreign language is actually good for traveling it's great for traveling do you agree anyone who agrees with that what about your opinion why do you think that learning a foreign language is a great benefit for traveling anyone yes love you too selfie queen and diaries thank you so much so anyone guys come on so anyway if you guys have opinions please feel free to write your opinions in the chat room okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, express to you my opinion why it's 
great or it's a great benefit for traveling if you if you actually learn a foreign language okay so there is i'm not sure if you know that uh, if you know uh, there is an austrian philosopher his name is uh ludwig I'm not sure if i pronounce it correctly ludwig he said um he's actually uh credited with uh, saying the the limits of your language are the limits of your world Do, did you get it i'm gonna write it here this is from the philosopher he is austrian philosopher ludwig okay he said the limits the limits of your language oh, what are these advertisements here i hate this a lot of advertisements appear on my monitor guys <clears throat> it's very annoying the limits of your language are the limits of your world so this is Hello, Neil, to my live stream. Thank you so much for coming. Jennifer Avila said, yes, teacher, I agree. Shine, amen, sure. Employment and, of course, travel. Neil631, how are you feeling? Yes, Ludwig fans, so do you know him? Do you know that person? That's actually an Austrian philosopher. You know, Do you know that person, Austrian philosopher? He said uh, this saying, this is his saying. He said, the limits of your language are the limits of your word. Yes, no problem, sis. Ruby's foreign family, Ariel Chumailin, guys, is actually Ruby's foreign family. That's my wonderful friend from Norway, Ruby's foreign family. Later, please prepare yourself. You might as well share the language that you have there in Norway later when we start exchanging languages, okay? At the end of this um, benefits of learning a foreign language, we're gonna actually be open to foreign exchange tonight, okay? Ruby's foreign family, let me just write her name here, Ruby's foreign family. Uh, just like, I just would like to let you know that her presence is here, okay? Ruby's foreign family, that's her. Yes, uh, Jennifer Abelos, yeah, what a nice phrase. Yes, it's true. Let me just uh, put it on the screen. So uh, it's good. Uh, it's a benefit. Wow, 19 people right now. Thank you so much. So uh, it's really beneficial. It's one of the benefits to, I mean, uh, if you learn a foreign language, one of the benefits is actually for traveling. Okay, it's a great benefit for traveling. So according to uh, Ludwig, okay, the message which I wrote in the chat room, but okay, here, he actually said, the limits of your language are the limits of your world. Mm, isn't it amazing, guys? Isn't it amazing? The limits of your language are the limits of your world. Where is the banner now for traveling? Okay, here. Traveling, guys. So it's very true. Um, he, he is right, you know? He's right. You know, if we know, if we know more than one language, it actually opens up our vacation destination possibilities, you know? So we have more possibilities, we have more um, destinations for our vacation, you know, if we know more languages, I mean, more than one language. Yes, thank you so much, Marcus Rich. Um, Neil631 said, I'm happy today, my blood look better now. Oh, it's a great news, Neil631. Please keep getting better, okay? Get well. I hope you, you're going to get well completely, okay? yes um yeah that's right well 20 people right now thank you so much everyone for your presence so i hope you guys gonna stay longer because actually later we will have uh language exchange later at the at the end of this uh little little or long discussion about the benefits of learning foreign language <laughs> yes guys so traveling you know traveling through a foreign country has become much easier or it, it becomes much easier if we can speak the language of that country where we are going you know do you agree with me so fluency isn't really we don't really it's not really required to be fluent with that language you know we don't we don't need to be fluent at that language uh, in order to communicate you know uh, because you know locals uh, anywhere they appreciate if you you take the time to uh, you know the time to learn and even speak their language you communicate with them using their language. Yeah, I'm sure you agree with me, right? So really, it, it can it actually shows, you know, it shows that we have a great level of respect 
and it is easy you know the first benefit i mentioned you it is easy way to meet new people yes we can meet new people and then <clears throat> we can have higher chances for employment and of course we're traveling we can have more destinations if we're not if we're gonna go in vacation because we know more languages because some people it's a fact if they don't know the language of that country they are scared to go there or maybe they are challenged to learn the language first and then they go to that country right do you agree with me okay let me go to the chat room right now before i proceed talking and before you you guys fall asleep because the teacher is talking too much because your teacher has full energy tonight <laughs> Okay, Shine Eamon said, English is the main language used for technical research publication. Yes, it is true. Science and medicine, yes. Even uh, computer, yes. English is always there. That's why English is international uh, language. Jennifer said, just like I knew only Arabic and I'll stay only here at Middle East. Yes, it could be uh, because... Um, because you know that language, so you would love to stay there. But of course, if you are planning to go to another country or if you're planning to another destination, you know, you're planning to go on vacation in another country or in another place, I am pretty sure that you would also love to learn that language before going to that country. Because, you know, it's like a weapon for us. Before we go to a battle, we need a weapon, right? Weapon. Language is a weapon. <laughs> Okay, so let me go back to the chat room. Okay, a Cobra four five six said the limits of my bank balance is more limited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Terry, it's not the limits of the language; it's the limits of the bank. <laughs> yes, it's true, guys. So one that can limit our world is actually the language, and second is our bank account. <laughs> Yes, it's a fact, Terry. Wow, this is by Terry. Okay, guys, so we have a new philosopher, Terry. He said, the limits of my bank balance is more limiting. <laughs> Do you agree with that? Um, another, with this uh, new philosophy, guys, new philosophy from a philosopher who lives in the south part of France. Terry, he said, the limit of my bank balance is limiting. Pass <laughs> shine, amen. Medicine, dead language, Latin. Uh huh. Niels, yes, no problem, Niels. Thank you so much. Jennifer Avalos said, and I'm falling to bed. Oh my God, Jennifer Avalos, it's okay. Ah, uh, Panso, I forgot already. Morning scene. Okay, shine, amen. And so, by the way, guys, if you're giving a shout out uh, to the people here in the chat room, okay? So, uh, I, I hope you don't mind uh, not reading all the messages, okay? But, of course, when you come to my stream, of course, I welcome you from the bottom of my heart warmly, okay? Guys, let's welcome our very beautiful and sexy friend is here, finally! 101 Foot Travel, welcome to my live stream. How are you, dear? I'm doing great. I'm doing great now because I had a long sleep. Why do I get all these advertisements here? I don't understand. Okay, anyway, forget it. So, uh, Shine Eamon said, Banzo, sure, a lot of Latin words in relation with medicine, but they feel the rest with some English. Ha ha, laughing. All right, yes. Yes, connect the right way, everyone. If you want to connect to the people in the chat room, you don't really need to tell them that you're connected or whatsoever because if you visit them and if you leave genuine messages, they know what to do. So that's how it is. Connect the right way. Okay, so again, guys, let's continue. So the other benefit, okay, the other benefit of learning a foreign language, as I mentioned, is for traveling. Just like what a great philosopher said, Ludwig, the limits of your languages or language are the limits of your world. Wow. And he's true. I mean, he's right. Do you agree with me? He's right. So, you know, getting to a comfortable speaking level in a foreign language is, you know, also a great motivator for us to, you know, uh, to get us out and practicing our uh, new language in a new country. Yes. For example, if you learn French, 
you want to practice that French language. So, of course, you're going to be more motivated and you're going to go to that country because you know that language of that country. You know? Yes. So, anyway, if you're not ready, if we are not ready, okay, we don't need to, uh, we do, we don't need to rush off to foreign land if we are not ready. But, of course, in some countries, for example, English-speaking countries, for Filipinos or for everyone, because English is international language, for sure, we are always ready to fly, right? We are always ready to go to that foreign land because we know English. English is international language. But what I mean is, if we are not ready, you know, uh, in terms of the language of that country where we, we want to go, so no need to hurry, no need to rush off to that foreign land okay it's not a problem you can start exploring every day okay cultures of that country where you want to go the language that is spoken in that country where you want to go of course with fluent probably fluency but not really necessary okay it's not really necessary because yeah everybody can understand even if you uh speak you know the basic ones oh let me go back to the chat room here it looks like a lot of people have expressed their opinion so we have here uh one one food troubles that i'm doing great thank you just got back from shopping at victoria's secret wow victoria's secret luxury jennifer abel it's a low one on one 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 on one 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 food travel it's okay actually jennifer to write numbers because this is the name of her channel so you can just write hello at one one food travel welcome here again yes she has been busy guys my friend one one food travel has been busy with many things color maker channel said you know teacher here in saudi you can learn more than four languages like urdu Bangladesh, turkey thai not only arabic language oh yeah because uh <clears throat> the people there speak these different languages uh color maker channel is that what you mean lami castro lami castro guys let's welcome our dear friend lami castro is actually genevieve and lira's vlog so i'm not sure if i pronounce it i mean if i uh, spell it right okay genevieve and lira's vlogs guys is here let's welcome that is lami castro genevieve and lira's vlogs let's welcome her thank you so much for coming dear let me hello teacher host notification and he's a work and dikaya data thumbs up no problem thank you so much but i will erase okay okay no problem yes yes joby may guys is still here one one for travel i'll leave you yes you're gonna leave me again but thank you anyway thank you so much one one for travel have a great time okay guys so that's it wow until now i have finished discussing the other benefits of learning a foreign language but until now nobody has told me that they want to join me here live tonight so i'm really wondering if there's someone there interested or maybe you are interested later when we start the language exchange you're gonna join me here live is that so i hope so is that so i hope so <laughs> okay guys that's it so i hope okay shine amen said here uh i wonder why the philippines didn't get didn't get more spanish than what is in the visayan language america won in the end mm -hmm. i wonder why the philippines didn't get more spanish than what is in the visayan language america won in the end hello Pinay in sweden my god i missed you how are you Pinay in sweden guys let's welcome another friend of ours from sweden guys wow you see we will be learning more languages later okay yes Pinay in sweden guys let's welcome yes yeah, so i wonder why i really don't know um mm -hmm. but well I think Shine Amen, you wonder why Philippines didn't get more Spanish than what it is in the Visayan language. America won in the end. Mm -hmm. But I guess we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of borrowed languages. I mean, in the Visayan language, we have a lot of borrowed languages from uh, Spanish language, actually. Yeah, but of course, when it comes to American English, of course, America won, right, in the history. That's why most Filipinos, if you agree with me, most Filipinos actually have this 
American accent. Uh, American accent, no, I'm just kidding. Maybe true, but that's what I have observed. Because you know, in every country, probably because of the history, we are influenced by their accent or their language, right? Do you agree with me? I hope so. If you don't agree, you have to agree. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Okay, wow, 21 people right now. My God, thank you so much for coming. Now let's have another opinion. Uh, yes, yeah, so how are you, Pinay, in Sweden? So the next one, guys, let me just put it on the screen, the next one. The next benefit of a foreign language. So guys, if you want to join me here live on my live stream tonight, please do so for free, okay? You don't have to pay to join me here. And I don't have to pay you to join me here. <laughs> Everything is free, okay? Yes. Feel free to tell me that you are free to join me here, to have a free live stream, free language exchange tonight, okay? <laughs> wow, we have been live tonight for an hour now. So I hope we're going to have actually more time together guys thank you so much please stay tuned because we're gonna have language exchange in a few minutes we just need to finish this discussion on the benefits of learning a foreign language okay thank you so much so we have here in the chat room from binai in sweden sweden okay yes binai in sweden i missed you how are you color maker channel said because of more different people working here from other countries not only filipino workers teachers that's why you can learn more than four languages aha uh -huh. so that's actually your, you can learn uh, more than four languages not from the country but from the people working in that country right a color maker channel uh, I'm not sure if I understand what you're saying correctly. Yes, so that should be it. Okay, so anyway, yeah, the next benefit, guys. Let me check my uh, banners here. Okay, the next benefit, your teacher is very prepared, guys, always. Because I don't want to, you know, okay, here, next one. Mm -hmm. The next benefit, guys, of learning a foreign language, of course, yes. It means to say it's 1,000 times or maybe million times, okay? After you learn one language, it's going to be million times easier to learn another. Do you agree? Mm, so it says there, it's easier to learn another language after you learn one. Do you agree? Do you agree? Do you agree? Color Maker Channel said that's right. Thank you so much, Color Maker Channel. <clears throat> so yes, uh, I'm sure you agree with me, uh, but I'm sure maybe some people disagree as well. So please feel free to express your opinion in the chat room, and I'm gonna get back to the chat room later, and I'm gonna read your messages. Okay. So anyway, that's it, guys. It's easier to learn another language after learning one language. Okay. So if you know one language, for example, my uh, my mother tongue is Filipino, so maybe if, uh, after I learn English, wow, that's my second language, so it's going to be easier to learn another language. Because uh, someone said, as you begin to learn a second language, you will find that the acquisition techniques you're using can be applied to learning additional languages as well. Do you agree? But you know, guys, we have your Joby Me. Juby May guy is very guys is very interested in learning a foreign language. She's very motivated. That's why, you know, now she can speak Spanish very well. She's also a Filipina. She's from Philippines and she is now in Spain. She can speak Spanish very well. So maybe later we're gonna ask more about Spanish language from Joby May. All right. So let's continue. Okay, no messages yet. <clears throat> yeah, so anyway, guys, um, uh, you know, we are actually, how can I say? It is the positive uh, effect of learning to speak the second language, which can train our brain, you know. Our brain actually can be trained to uh, analyze and even process different structures, I mean, different structures of different languages. It is not specific to, uh, you know, it's not specific to, uh, to us or to our first language or the first, uh, how can I say, the first language that we target. But, you know, the skill can be applied to learning another language. Yes. Do you agree with me? 
Okay, let me read message here. Um, yes, yeah, Shine Eman said, the more, I, the more I write English, the more I, I do spelling mistakes in both languages, English and French. <laughs> well, you need to know, uh, Shine Eman, that you're actually increasing your ability, you know? After you learn one language, that is the second language, you are increasing your ability to, you know, to follow the same process with uh, many other languages this is actually what we call uh how we call this process this is a um, meta linguistic process guys or meta linguistic awareness yes this is uh you know this is when our brain learns to identify the techniques of learning a language and break them into many other steps you know after learning one language you can retain the memory and your brain will actually understand how to learn a language and how different languages are structured through increasing our awareness, especially, you know, the grammar, the sentence, anyway, the structure of that language, that foreign language that we're learning. Shine Amen, things like double letters. Uh-huh, yeah. But, well, it's normal, it's normal, uh, Shine Amen, uh, when you're learning a foreign language, but the only thing you have to do is keep on practicing until you actually get the habit of, you know, naturally writing it correctly. Yeah, just training, guys. Training practice makes perfect. That is another philosoph philosophy which I believe practice makes perfect. You know? Yes. Practice makes perfect. Oh, my God. I lost it. Where is the... Ooh, okay, here we go. The stream yard is gone. Okay, here we go. Yes, guys, so that's it. So it's easier to learn another language. Do you agree? Who has experienced here? Who among you here has experienced learning a foreign language? I guess most of you here, right? Because you are in different countries. You are from your country, your mother country, your mother tongue. You have your mother tongue. And then you move to another country, so which obviously shows that you have learned a foreign language. So in your case, guys, do you find it easier to learn another language after learning the second language? Hmm? Come on, answer. Answer your teacher, guys. Answer. I remove, guys, my glasses, okay, because uh, the reflection of the, the, what, the light. So, guys. Come on, speak. Teacher will take some uh, break a little bit. <laughs> Water time. Shine Amen said, but yes, you're right about the training. Yes, yeah, so, so true. That's what I always tell my students when I teach them English. Practice makes perfect. Failure is the mother of success. We cannot succeed without making mistakes, without undergoing failure. There's always, it's always part of success. It's always part of learning. Yes. Mistakes are always part of learning. Okay, Gwen has another opinion. Gwen said, we used to have Spanish in our class back then. Oh, so anyway, Gwen, in your case, um, of course, you're Filipino, right? So the first language is Filipino. And of course, you can speak English now, which is the British English, right? Because you're in the UK. Uh, like... Uh, like Terry at Cobra 456. So in your case, after learning the second language, which is English, okay, English is the second language of Filipinos, all right? So uh, after that, do you find it easier, okay, do you find it easier to learn Spanish when you had your Spanish class back then? Did you find it easier? What can you say? What teacher? What asked me teacher? Yes, Gwen. Gwen's life in UK, guys, is actually also life in United Kingdom with us, okay? So Pinay in Sweden, guys, okay, let's listen to Pinay in Sweden because she can speak Swedish very well, right? Pinay in Sweden? Okay, Pinay in Sweden said, It's hard at first to learn other languages, but if you focus and practice, it will be easier. Definitely. That's what I actually mentioned. It's going to be hard, but if you do or if you make a lot of practices or if you practice a lot, that's going to be easier as, as time goes by. Really, practice makes perfect. 
it's just like me when i was a student i was i was actually scared to speak english i mean yeah i was scared to speak english but you know there's always learning day by day so when you get to learn the foreign language you can actually master that what you learn but it doesn't mean you're learning a foreign language and you're learning today and then tomorrow you just forget it you learn here and then after you just throw it here in the other ears no when we learn something we need to apply it by speaking by communicating to those people who actually use the language which we are learning right mm -hmm. okay so we have here another message from pinai in sweden before i hated english language but when i moved here in sweden i prefer english <laughs> Wow, finally you realized how lovely speaking English is, right? It's easier to learn compared to other languages. Is that what you mean, Pinay, in Sweden? <laughs> yes, um, kahit barok barok English ko, yes, it's very true. Even if the English or even if, uh, yeah, even if our skill in English is actually not perfect, but at least we can communicate. So it's the same with other languages. You know, we just need time, practice, yeah, training, that's practice. And then after that, we can communicate. But forgive me, guys, in my case, I'm a bit old. <laughs> hey, God, uh, I think I really need uh, intensive, you know, training when it comes to French language. Because until now, I can't speak French well. I mean, yes, I can't. And uh, yeah, maybe because, yes, here I am in France, but... I always use English because of my work. I mean, because of my job, I'm an English teacher, so I always use English in, in at work. And when I meet uh, people at work, I am scared to talk to them in French <laughs> because I sound ridiculous when I speak French. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then Fanzo said, three countries in Europe speak German, Austria, Swiss, uh, German, even North Italy. Oh, that's interesting, Fanzo. So in your case, Fanzo, uh, your mother tongue is, uh, I guess, it's not German, is it? What's your mother tongue, Fanzo? What's your mother language, Fanzo? What's your mother, mother tongue? Mother tongue, Fanzo. <clears throat> okay, Pinay in Sweden said, uh, yes, Oh, ang hirap kasi ng pronunciation ng words nila dito. Hehe. Meron sila sa alphabet. Oh, oh uh, uh, difficult. Ang hirap. Ha? <laughs> I can relate. Yeah, I think it's a double, you know, double or triple more difficult because uh, the, the alphabet is different. But here in France, the, the words are different. But some words are actually related to uh, some words. But I, I think some English words are borrowed from French language because some French words are actually similar to English. Only the spelling is different and the pronunciation is different. But the, the alphabet is the same in English, the alphabet. But yeah, I appreciate people, guys, who actually learn a foreign language with different alphabet from, you know, English. Yes, it's, it's more difficult. I mean, for example, Korean, Chinese, and I think also Arab, right? Color Maker Channel. With the Arab language, the letters or the alphabet is different, right? It's different, I think. <clears throat> okay. Hello, everyone. A Beast Born family is here. I think she's finished baking her cake. My God, it's time for us to eat, guys, because she's finished cooking. I mean, baking. Neil631, thank you so much for staying. Yes, Neil631, guys. Uh, he also speaks another language, so maybe later... Uh, you can ask everyone. We can exchange languages. One language, I'm going to actually present a Filipino language, and then we will translate it into English. And then other guests here will translate translate the word into their own language. Isn't it interesting? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's try that later. And we have here Pinay in Sweden said, I speak Cebuano, Tagalog, English, Mandarin, or oh, Unting Arabic. Minsan, di ko na alam halo halo na lang sinasabi ko. Wow, interesting. So actually, Pinay is wedding, guys. She said she speaks Cebuano, Tagalog, English, Mandarin, a little Arabic, and sometimes 
she mixed all those languages and she can't understand what she's saying anymore. <laughs> wow, that's very nice. I mean, this very, uh, I mean, you are very skillful. If that's the case, you can speak many languages. In my case, um, I'm not really that confident with, uh, you know, other languages I know except English. Yes, I'm very confident, but with the French, I'm not yet. Maybe I need more time here in France. I hope I can actually uh, reach to that point of, you know, being fluent when it comes to French language. Yes, so, in I and in USA, yes, no problem, Sissy. Thank you so much. How's your sleep there? Okay, so let's continue, guys. So, again, it's easier to learn another language, okay? So, the next one is we have the next benefit of learning a foreign language. I'm not sure if you agree with me. <laughs> Here we go. The next one is mm, becoming smarter. Do you agree? Do you agree, guys? Do you agree? Please let me know if you agree or not. <clears throat> let me go back to the chat room. Okay, no uh, new opinions here. Okay, so I guess you're listening to uh, the next uh, opinion, right? Arabi's foreign family, yes, no problem, sis. Ah, really? Okay, no problem. Thank you so much, Arabi's foreign family. I will also do, okay? Um, yeah, the next one, guys, is, um, yes, you become smarter when you learn a foreign language. Do you agree? So what does it mean? You will stay smarter. You become smarter. You'll stay smarter for a longer time. What, do, what does it mean, everyone? Okay, so uh, you become smarter. If you learn a foreign language, we actually become smarter. Okay, so uh, uh, for example, learning this uh, second language actually improves our memory. As I mentioned, okay, it's easier to learn another language after learning the second language. So that means to say it really increases our attention span. You know, the process of becoming bilingual actually, uh, what? exercises our brain and challenges you know it challenges us to concentrate and uh, actually boost on our problem solving skills wow so it becomes smarter you know bilingual students they they likely i mean they are likely to uh, you know get higher score on standardized tests than the monolingual students do you know that bilingual students they have higher possibility to get higher score compared to monolingual students. Do you know that? Uh, teacher, you are very educational now. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the police, welcome. Welcome, let's welcome our dear friend, guys, another content consumer. The police, thank you so much. Welcome to my live stream. Shine Amen said, I don't agree, teacher. You would always be the smart girl. <laughs> Oh, really? But guys, learning a foreign language, it means the one, one, one of the benefits is um, we become smarter if we learn a foreign language. Do you agree? <laughs> Sign Amen does not agree, guys. <clears throat> so police, okay, so police, the question is because we are actually discussing, okay, for those people who just arrived, okay, let me just put it on the screen what we're talking about right now. So actually, we are discussing, later we will have language exchange, and now we are discussing about the benefits of learning a foreign language, okay? The benefits of learning a foreign language, and we actually talk about uh, the first one, meet new people. That's a review. We are having a review now. Teacher review, meet new people, and also for employment and for traveling. And also easier to learn another language, okay? So if you guys want to know the details about these benefits, you can actually watch the replay uh, uh, during the first part of this stream, okay? Yes, because uh, we have another thing to do later, okay? So the question is, the question, uh, Thought Police, is actually the next benefit. That's actually the next benefit. I'm not about the next benefit. The next benefit is when we learn a foreign language, that means to say it is beneficial for us because that means we become smarter we become smarter because of learning a foreign language do you agree so according to shine amen he doesn't agree i'm not sure if he's serious <laughs> okay let me read your messages here 
Wow, 23 people right now. Wow, welcome, welcome everyone. Shout out to everyone who's here right now. Follow bloggers, welcome to my live stream. Thank you so much for coming. You're able to make it. Panzo said, speaking the second language could delay Alzheimer. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm laughing. I have no idea at all, uh, Panzo. Uh, guys, any idea about Panzo's point? Panzo said, if you speak the second language, it could delay your Alzheimer. <laughs> Color Maker Channel said, I'm not interested in learning other languages, but when you have enough money, it's easy to learn other languages. Yes, it's very true. But at some point, color maker channel, I disagree with this. Okay. At some point, I can say that, um, how can I say? Even if we don't have money, okay, but we are interested in learning a foreign language, okay, uh, I hope you are following. Even if we don't have money, but we are interested in learning a foreign language, we're gonna find a way to learn that language. We're going to find a way to get more money and start learning that foreign language. Do you agree with me? Yes, I guess so. <laughs> okay. Pinay in Sweden said, oh, where's that? Hi to all your supporters. Yes, everyone. Uh, fellow bloggers is giving greetings to all of, all of you here in the chat room right now and everybody who is watching right now. So uh, Pinay in Sweden said, I don't agree, teacher. Since I'm learning Swedish, my English got worse. Ah, <laughs> uh, so you don't agree. Mm -hmm. Wow, so you've got a point there, can I Sweden? Because uh, we tend to get confused, right? We tend to get confused when we learned many languages already, right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, we have another opinion here. Uh, follow blogger said, uh, Fanso said, oh, where, where am I now? Okay, here. Uh, Topoli said, I don't think so. Just look at me. <laughs> because Topoli is also learning a foreign language, right, Topoli? Yes, thank you everyone for your thumbs up. Um, Gwen's the Life in UK said, that's what my husband says, Fanzo. Mm -hmm. Palo Blogger said, I agree with you, Pinay in Sweden. <laughs> Oh my God, Pinay in Sweden is not alone. So that means to say it isn't true that it is beneficial for us to become smarter when we learn a foreign language. Mm -hmm. Let me read other people's message here. Gwen's live in UK with Bod said, because you keep your brain busy learning. You use part of your brain, so you keep learning brain exercise. Yes, it's very true. Yes, that's what I actually mentioned a while ago. It's a brain exercise. It, it exercises our brain when we, you know, keep learning a foreign language. But the problem is, according to Pinay in Sweden, we tend to get confused and we're going to have a headache. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, it's confusing. But I guess, again, the key is training, practicing, okay? Uh, Topoli said, no, in fact, you are born with a certain IQ and there is little you can do to improve it. You can just utilize your potential and improve. Mm, yes, you've also got a point there. Exactly. Every one of us has different potential. So the thing that we do is to, you know, try to improve that, utilize or use that potential that we have and improve it. How to improve? Of course, by practicing, training. That's the key point there. Fanzo said, learning, playing the music instrument can or could make you smarter. Oh, yes, I also heard that. So it's not learning a foreign language, Fanzo. <laughs> For you, learning how to play a musical instrument can make you smarter, but not learning a foreign language. Mm -hmm. And we have here thought police. That doesn't mean you become more intelligent. Mm, okay, I got your point. Color Maker Channel said we can hire more teachers can teach any languages. Laughing out loud. <laughs> yes, yes, that's true. Thought police, you gain experience, but it doesn't affect your core. If you know what I'm trying to say, yes, yes, I got your point. Actually, thought police. Yes, the experience, but it's not really, you know, 
it's not really it doesn't really affect our core for example yeah uh, shine amen nothing to do with smartness but i appreciate the freedom english can give us and give at times yes uh, Gwen's live in UK with bots. I think if it interests you to learn it, it doesn't matter what it is. Just learn new things. It's difficult learning new language if you can't use it daily. Very true. And that's where I am now. Gwen's, uh, Gwen, that's where I am now. I am learning a foreign language here. Well, I have a chance to actually speak that. Uh, I mean, uh, use this language which I'm learning, but... Uh, yeah, I tried to uh, put a wall <laughs> to myself to communicate with people. But anyway, I try when I go to a uh, laundry, when I go to a uh, pharmacy or uh, shops, I try, I try, but really it's hard. But it's going to be easier if you are really exposed to, you know, the place where the language you are learning is spoken. Okay, let me go back to the chat room um the police that's not true fanzo it's like saying gaming makes you smarter <laughs> yes i agree with that Top police follow blogger said sis host when i met my husband the first time i spoke bitter english when came to sweden and started swedish language my english got worse <laughs> oh my god you are actually the same as Unite in Sweden, right? You guys both are from Sweden. Do you know each other or did you know each other before? Follow bloggers and Pinai in Sweden. I think Pinai in Sweden is still here listening. I'm not so sure. So Pinai in Sweden, do you know follow bloggers? Because she's also in Sweden and she speaks Swedish very well, very well. I heard her speaking Swedish. Ah, yeah, she's here. Pinai in Sweden said, but once you speak and understand their language, you will be proud of yourself. Proud of yourself. Yes, it's very true. Uh, top police. Hi, Pinay. Yes, Pinay Annie in USA. We have Pinay. We have two Pinays here, okay? Pinay Annie in USA, and we have Pinay in Sweden. Wow, a lot of Pinays in different parts of the world. Shout out to you, Pinays. Pinay Annie in USA, and Pinay in Sweden. <laughs> okay. So, Gwen's life in UK with Bud said, it would be easier a bit for you, teacher, because you have your husband to talk to and your kids. Uh -huh. Well, yes, it's very true. But the thing is, I don't know, maybe it's my fault because, uh, yeah, I let my husband speak French with me. But sometimes when uh, he is speaking to me with uh, things like explaining things very important and he, he uses French, I get irritated and I say, please don't speak French to me. It's hard to understand. And this is very important information. <laughs> So I just let her speak English. So guys, most of the time we actually use English at home. My kids, they learn French at school. Okay. In the house, sometimes we speak French. Yeah, but most of the time we speak English. Yeah. And um, at first, my husband wanted my my youngest to actually uh, speak French and watch uh, French movies, but I told I told him no. Okay, no, because He's still a baby, so I am pretty sure that he can learn French language easily. So now I am training her English because I'm sure she can learn French at school and even playing with her friends and meeting people or, yeah, friends. So English is hard to learn here because there's not really a lot of chances to speak English. So I speak English to them. They speak English to their friends and watch uh, English movies here. Okay, so that's what I said. So in the end, I appreciate my husband because he was able to understand what I actually said. He understood my point. So uh, from that time on, he started to uh, like when I turn on TV and I try to like um, show some uh, cartoons in French language. He says, why is it French? You have to uh, show an English uh, cartoon. <laughs> yeah, so that's how it is. All right, so what did I miss here? Okay, so let me just check the chat room. Okay, Fanzo said, the police can or could. <laughs> Pinay in Sweden, oh, you don't know each other. Wow, so you should actually connect to each other the right way, okay? Because you are both in Sweden, so you might be able to visit each other and meet each other because we guys, you know, Pinoys, we need someone in a certain country to talk 
you know, to talk with each other, share our feelings or opinions, something like that. Not like me here. I have no Filipino here. <laughs> and you guys are there for me. So I speak Filipino to you guys. And I'm speaking English as well. Okay. Follow bloggers. Welcome. Pinay in Sweden. We are not yet friend host. Yes, make friends now. Okay. What are you waiting for? Get connected the right way. <clears throat> Top police said, one thing or the other. Don't know what you mean, Fanzo. Mm -hmm. Follow bloggers. Mag. Fika ako sa'yo ngayon. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I understand what you mean. When's life in UK? We buzz is laughing out loud. Uh, Top police said, Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm not, yes, this must be German, so I don't understand. So anyone who can explain what this language means, uh, Panzo in English. <laughs> wow, they have started exchanging language, guys. So we're going to do it later in a few minutes, okay? Gwen's life in UK with Buzz. Kids learn quickly. They are like the sponge that absorbs anything. Very true, okay? Very true. The best time, okay, to learn a foreign language, everyone, if you don't know, if, if any one of you doesn't know here, the best time to learn a foreign language for children is at an early age, okay? The sooner, the better. The earlier, I mean, the earlier, the better. Because kids, they still, they, they still learn a foreign language very fast, okay? Yeah. Fellow blogger said outside. Okay. Ah, okay. The police can or could. What do you mean by that, Panzo? Panzo, thought some could, some not. <laughs> thought police, very true, Panzo. Pina in Sweden, uh huh, different languages now. Okay, they are talking to each other. Oh, these places sounds like really Swedish, okay? So guys, let me drink some water. Give me a second. So, shall we have a little break? And no, I think we don't have a break. Let's finish discussing because I think we only have two more. Two more benefits, guys. And after that, we will start exchanging languages. Okay? So, are you guys ready to exchange languages? Yes, we're going to learn foreign languages tonight, of course. From me, I'm a Filipino, so it should be Filipino in English. Okay? And, of course, our guests here from different countries are going to share their, you know, knowledge about the language that we have, they have in their country, you know, translating the Filipino to English and in their own language, okay? No problem, Jennifer Avalos. <clears throat> Guys, water. The police said it's just a random conversation, teacher. Mm-hmm. Random conversation. Ah, okay. Yes, I got your point. No problem, Fanzo. I thought police. Fanzo said, though, when you let, when you. Eh? <laughs> hey, what's the meaning? Explain what's the meaning. Okay, let's proceed while uh, the two people here are talking different languages. So maybe they can explain to each other what it means or maybe share to the to our guest here. So the next one is actually boosting creativity guys so uh, when we learn a foreign language that means our creativity do you agree with that my god advertisement on my computer what happened i don't like advertisements i want advertisement on my videos on youtube but not here on my laptop <laughs> <laughs> ah, the Jennifer Abolas, oh my god, really foreign language now. Yes, Jennifer Abolas, later we will continue, okay? So guys, do you agree that it's actually boosting? It's boosting our creativity if we learn a foreign language. Well, yes, uh for me, some researchers, okay, some researchers are uh, uh some researchers also conclude that multilingual or you say multilingual multilingual this british and american pronunciation uh, i think uh, terry is still here say multilingual or multilingual okay multilingual and multilingual or multilingual speakers are more creative than monolingual speakers do you agree some researchers conclude this one do you agree with that multilingual speakers are more creative than monolingual speakers. Do you think so? 
Okay, let me go back to the chat room. Hello, be nice at Paris vlog bet. Hello, hello, welcome to my live stream. Thank you so much for coming. Shine amen. Shine amen. Be nice at Paris vlog bet is here. Uh, Pinay is a Paris vlog. I think you know Shine Amen, right? Because Shine Amen knows you. Wow, hello, teacher, and everyone watching you and listening while eating. Yes. <laughs> Elizabeth is here. Yes. She's eating right now, guys, because it's 9 p.m. here in France. So she's having dinner. The police said, uh, I don't understand. It's a different language. So later they can explain to them. Oh my God, a lot of different languages now. Wow, you are very excited, guys, to learn foreign languages. Hello, Jose Tayata Jr. Hello, hello. <laughs> guys, let's welcome Jose Tayata Jr. Guys, let's welcome Jose Tayata Jr. Be nice to Paris blog bet. These two people, guys, I know them they already have advertisements okay so please do me a favor if you visit their channel please don't skip their advertisements okay thank you so much all right so uh i'm not sure with other people but uh yeah for jose and pinay in paris well we have three pinays now pinay in paris pinay in sweden pinay in usa <laughs> so don't uh don't skip advertisements guys okay Welcome everyone, and of course, let's welcome Jessica Rema. Welcome Jessica Rema. Thank you so much for coming. Wow. Welcome, welcome. Jessica Rema, guys, is from another country as well. Where are you from, Jessica Rema? So Jessica Rema, guys, has amazing vlogs. She has different, uh, I think, cooking recipes, right? Jessica Rema, welcome to my live stream. Where are you from? Follow bloggers. Oh, Pinay and Layu Lana. Okay. Jose, I'm going to try battle my brain to brain. Yes, Jose Tayata Jr. You are from, you are, you of course, you're Filipino, but you are in another country as well right now, right? So I hope you can actually share later um, the language that you have there when we start our language exchange, okay? We're going to have language exchange later. Uh, Pinay sa Paris, okay, dami ng Pinay, yes, a lot of Pinays now, Pinay, 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 <laughs> a lot of Pinays, okay, so we have your Pinay sa Paris vlog, Beth, that's Elizabeth, Beth, okay, he's my friend from the beginning, oh, that's amazing, and I'm very pleased that I have you both here in my live stream tonight, thank you so much for being very supportive, wow, shine, amen, you are such a great friend. So please, uh, okay. Uh, Jose Tayata Jr. said, Jessica Rema, welcome to our teacher's house. Yes, welcome, Jessica Rema. Um, I hope you're going to tell us where you're from. Jessica Rema, where are you from? Or uh, in which country are you now, Jessica Rema? So police, does it have an impact if I skip an advertisement? I don't know. Well, uh, so police, it doesn't really, I mean, uh, generally, it doesn't matter because for me, you know, before I became a blogger, before I started my YT, uh, what, YT career, <laughs> no, it's not really career, before I, I started this YT thing, what, the YouTube thing, the being a blogger, I also, when I watch videos on YouTube, I actually skipped advertisement. But I didn't know until I started blogging that it means a lot for the creators when you don't skip the, their advertisements. It means a lot to them because, you know, the income, uh, correct me if I'm wrong for those people who have been monetized, okay? Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is just based on what I have heard, okay? I've heard that if uh, the people actually skip their advertisements, of course, that affects the, the income that they can get from AdSense okay so that means the more you watch the advertisements the more income they can get from adsense so correct me if i'm wrong but that's what i have learned from yeah <clears throat> and we have here uh, where am i now yes okay greetings from jessica rema okay Panzo has another message okay later you're gonna share to us guys what you're talking about Jose, yes, I do. I'm using Mandarin and Cantonese. Ah, Mandarin. So you are in, uh, where are you? Are you in Thailand? Or I thought you were somewhere in Middle East. Uh, Jose Tayata Jr. Follow bloggers, no problem. Uh, Pinay to Paris blog. We, oui, merci, shine in men. Yes, merci, merci. Merci beaucoup, tout le monde. <laughs> 
Lucia Tayatag Jr. Yes, Solar Maker Channel. Shout out to all of you guys. And don't forget to give a thumbs up to, yes, thank you so much, everyone, for your thumbs up. And by the way, guys, again, I would like to re I would like to announce everyone, our dear friend here, Color Maker Channel, is almost going to make it, okay? For sure, tomorrow, his channel is going to be under review. And he's going to be one of those monetized friends of ours. Yeah. Color Maker Channel, guys. He only needs 30 more hours and she's going to be on the review. She's going to complete the watch time. So I would like to congratulate Color Maker Channel again for the second time or for the million times <laughs> in advance. Okay, Shine, amen. Elizabeth, don't go to Paris. Don't go to Paris. The yellow vests are out again. <laughs> really? Is it true, Shine, amen? Seriously? Because I actually haven't seen the news these days because I have been busy with YT and stuff. <laughs> Jose Tayeta Jr., that's correct. China, Macau. Ah, that's why. Yeah, yeah, because I had a student before and uh, his language is actually uh, Cantonese and Mandarin. <clears throat> Pinasa Paris vlog. Yes, Shine Amen. Less of strikes tomorrow. <gasps> oh, seriously? That's true. My God, less of strikes tomorrow. Thank you very much, my sweet friend. Oh, yeah. Pinay in Sweden. Ni hao. Mahose Tayatak Jr. Please give a thumbs up. Thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate your presence, guys. I love you all. Thank you so much. And shout out to all of you here. So let's go back to our topic tonight, which is actually the benefits of learning a foreign language. Okay, so as uh, we mentioned a while ago, uh, when we learn a foreign language, it boosts our creativity. So according to some researchers, multilingual speakers are more creative than monolingual speakers. Do you agree with that? Do you agree? So actually learning a foreign language improves not only our ability to solve problems, but also to think more logically. It also makes you, you know, experiment with new words or phrases. Yeah, so leveling up our second language skills actually forces us to reach for you know alternate words or more words when we can't actually quite remember the original one so you wanted to use it improves our skills in you know thinking which is the ability to identify a lot of solutions to a single problem do you agree oh teacher what were you saying <laughs> i'm sure you understand everyone of course okay our money at the house, 90s man Smith. Yes, nice, nice, nice. Color Maker Channel. Thank you, teacher, and to all of you guys to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. Yes, it's my pleasure. We creators, we just need to help each other, you know, support each other, and be genuine to each other. Because, you know, if we are like that, we will get like that as well. Yes? Okay. So that's it. No more opinion here. So I guess it's time for me to proceed to the last one. Okay, where's the stream yard now? Okay, the last uh, benefit because we're going to start our learning foreign languages, okay? Exchanging languages, okay? After the last benefit. Okay, here's the last benefit, guys. So that's what actually what our money hops mentioned at the beginning of the stream because i asked you guys about your opinion on the benefits of learning a foreign language and armani hops actually said self-confidence yes you know if you learn a foreign language that actually builds up our self-confidence okay it builds up it builds up our self-confidence do you agree of course everybody agrees with this right because you did not agree with the two opinions or the two benefits so i'm pretty sure for this you're gonna agree right I hope so. Let me just check for a second, guys. I need to, excuse me for a second. So please feel free to chat with each other there. I need to just, okay, here we go. Okay, hello, hello, hello. Okay, 
So where are we now? Let me go to the chat room. Okay, so no opinions yet. Okay, uh, Fanzo Ariel is actually Ruby's foreign family. Okay, that's Ruby's foreign family, guys. So uh, yeah, so self confidence, guys. So when we learn a foreign language, this actually builds up our self confidence. Okay, so in this case, we are about to teach ourselves to believe. Yes, we can yes okay so it will become uh, our new personal you know mantra okay you know mantra guys mantra confidence everyone it increases you know confidence increases when a new skill is mastered yes of course just like me for example right now i can speak english well so i am confident so i'm gonna be more confident if i can speak french well because i'm here in france so right now i don't have much confidence yet here in france because <laughs> I am not yet really good at French. So that means to say I haven't mastered the French language. But as soon as I master, as soon as we master a new skill or a foreign language, confidence gonna increase, guys. Yes, it's a fact. <clears throat> yeah, thank you so much, David Roger, uh, David Roger, for staying. Thank you so much. All right, so we have here, thoughtfully said, that's very true, actually. It's quite hard to be thrown into a completely new place like me, top police, <laughs> not knowing anyone and trying to get along with people. Yes, very true. Pinay Ani, Pinay Saparis, actually, everyone, Pinay Saparis is Ruby's foreign family, okay? Ruby's foreign family, but she is busy right now, so she is using her husband's uh, account, okay? That's how supportive she is. Ruby's foreign family, my very dear friend, okay? Yes, guys, of course, if you don't know a foreign language and you go to a certain place, of course, do you think you are confident enough in talking to people? I guess not, right? Who is confident here going to another language? I'm another language. <laughs> going to another country without knowing that country's language. I'm pretty sure now Pinay Paris vlog, who is actually Beth, I'm pretty sure that she is more confident now because she can speak French very well, like Shine Amen, they speak French very well, like Terry, a Cobra 456, they speak French very well. So this is actually their maybe second language or third language. So that means to say their confidence is higher, right? Do you agree? <clears throat> okay, let's continue. <clears throat> so yeah, that's it, guys. So uh, anyway, <clears throat> it increases really our self-confidence so it lets us uh, face uh, the world face the people from different parts of the world or from the from that certain country <clears throat> which uses the language that we learn okay <clears throat> so yes we have to we have to accept the fact that confident people are more interesting than those who are unsure of themselves do you agree with me of course for example in my case i'm not sure of myself in terms of French language. So that means to say maybe French people would think this woman is not interesting. <laughs> no, 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 just correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, um, we need to face it. Confident people are more interesting than those who are unsure of themselves, okay? Yes, Pinaisa Paris vlog, Beth, she said, yes, I agree, teacher. Yes, it's very true. We are more confident when we learn, when we master, another language or a foreign language okay so actually the techniques guys um the techniques we use to develop a second tongue result into a greater sense of what what do you think I'll, i will repeat okay the techniques we use the techniques we use to develop a second language tongue result in a greater sense of what do you think anyone who can guess The techniques you use to develop a second tongue result in a greater sense of what is it? Okay, let me read messages first from the chat room. Shine Amen MBS teacher, you are a courageous person. Don't give up. <laughs> As it's really tough to learn French, listen to the way they say words. Yes, it's true. <clears throat> Topoli said, my English was a whole mess. To be frank, I only knew a bunch of vocabularies back then, 
when I when I went to Jersey at the age of 14, just got into just got into trouble all the time back then. Oh, really? No, please. But now you are very. I'm pretty sure now you are very. Uh, you are very fluent, right? You are very confident using the English language now. Am I am I right? Uh, the police. <clears throat> Uh, the police said there were no techniques. Ah, oh, no techniques. <laughs> but uh, some people actually thought police, they have techniques in, uh, you know, they have techniques that they use in uh, learning a foreign language. Just like Shine Eamon said, uh, to learn a foreign language, especially when it comes to pronunciation, one technique is listen and follow how they say words. Yeah, that's one technique, one of the techniques. Okay, so actually I was saying guys, the techniques you use or the techniques we use to develop a second tongue result in a greater sense of open-mindedness, okay? We become more open-minded when we have our second language or another foreign language, okay? <clears throat> Gwen's uh, life in UK with Buzz. Yes, no problem, sis. I know, I know. Um, Ruby is over there. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Gwen's life in UK with Buzz. So police, yeah, I guess so. Yes, that's right. It's very true. So guys, in order to master, okay, in order to master, oh, I'm talking, I'm talking to you guys, but I should also be talking to myself, okay? Yes, this is for myself as well, okay? In order to master a new language, okay, because I am also trying to master French, but uh, it's kind of hard, but yes, never give up. We will not give up. Shine amen, right? So in order to master a new language, conversations with native and fluent speakers are essential. Yes, it's very true, guys. It's very essential for us to communicate with native and fluent speakers when it comes to that language which we are learning. Okay, Of course, if you want to learn French, it doesn't mean we communicate with the people who speak English well. We communicate with the people who speak French well or who are very fluent at French language, right? So, you know, if you are shy, but you really want to meet new people, using the excuse that you want to practice your speaking skills is a great opener. And, of course, a doorway to making new friends. You know, expanding our horizons, just like what, um, who's that? Um, who mentioned that? He's still here, I think, I hope. Yes, just like what Armani Armani Akahab's 90s man Smith, he actually said, if we learn a foreign language, that actually expands our horizons. Yes, it's very true. And it also broadens our life experience, of course, because if we learn a foreign language, we will be interested in going to other countries which actually use that language. So we'll have more experiences, more friends. Yes, you make new friends. You make uh, new life experiences, yes. And of course, who doesn't want to be more interesting? Who? Don't you want to be more interesting? Because many people said, if you learn more languages, you become more interesting. Mm -hmm. So now let's start becoming more interesting people, guys. Let's start our language exchange everyone okay thank you so much everyone for staying let me read the chat room here okay the chat room some people have actually expressed their opinion be nice the paris blog beth shout out to you she said communication and integration yes it's very true we communicate and we integrate different things okay so that includes already the culture right the police joined the military when I was 17. There, I improved most of what I know about English today. Oh, yeah. So, please, you should just try. That's my advice. Yes, trying. Oh, my God. I should talk to myself because I, I seldom. How can I say? I still have the fear, actually, guys. You know, I, even, yes, even if I'm a language teacher, I'm an English teacher, I, I know I know what to do and how to learn a foreign language. I know what to do because I always teach my students. I, I tell my students all the time how to learn English as a foreign language. But me, I mean, I, I myself, <laughs> learning a foreign language, which is French, it's kind of hard for me. And uh, yeah, I tend to, uh, I don't know, maybe just because uh, really, guys, you know, interest 
is the great key to learning a foreign language. If you have less interest in it, you will also be less motivated to learn that foreign language. Do you agree with me? Because in my case, I am really, <laughs> um, don't misunderstand me. I am less interested in learning French because I, I'm saying, oh, I'm going to go back to Philippines in the future. So <laughs> I don't really need a French language. But you know, guys, with my job here as an English teacher, I actually need to speak English sometimes. I mean, I badly need to speak English because of my students. Yeah, so let's have here the police. You should try. Hello, Jay's Better Room. Welcome to my live stream. Thank you so much for coming. Welcome, welcome back again. So let's welcome again, guys. Jay's Better Room. Jay's Better Room actually requested for a Filipino language live stream. So this is it, uh, Jay's Better Room, but this is not just Filipino. Here we will be learning a foreign language, okay, or foreign languages from different sides of the world. Jetty room, okay? Jay's better room, not Jetty room. <laughs> Jay's better room. Pinay in Sweden, that's true, teacher. Yes, it's very true, guys. So for, for all of you there who have experienced learning a foreign language, I am pretty sure that you can understand what I have been saying, right? So yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. I really appreciate your questions. Yes, so uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful moment here. And I hope you guys have actually learned something from these uh, benefits of learning a foreign language, which I have been uh, talking about. Okay, so are you guys ready to have our language exchange? You guys ready? So right now, I'm going to ask again if you guys or any one of you guys there are interested or if anyone is interested, okay, to uh, join me here live tonight for our language exchange moment, please feel free to do so. We will make the evening longer tonight because this is going to be a long stream tonight because tomorrow is Saturday. Today is, tonight is Friday, TGIF. Thanks God it's Friday. So we guys going to actually spend time more together, okay? But of course, don't forget, if you need to eat something, go grab something to eat. If you need to do something, go do it. Don't hesitate. But of course, even if you are just there listening, that means a lot to me. And of course, while you're listening and you have your opinions or something to say, please feel free to just write it in the chat room. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, thumbs up. Thank you so much for the thumbs up, everyone. Okay, Topoli said, no offense taken at all. It's just funny. Uh-huh uh where okay uh, okay i missed the message of the police okay here the police said it was back in the late 90s but i couldn't get rid of the, the accent still have it today people say i sound like a russian or alpha C, is it pacino but it's just hilarious to me at that point <laughs> really but uh the police uh i can't remember exactly of course you are in the u.s right now right but uh, where do you really come from, the police? Yeah, of course, it's funny, the police. I understand what you mean. Yes, bring it on, everyone. Yes, let's start, guys. Let's start. <clears throat> so are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Again, what is this? Yes, no problem, sis. Uh, Genevieve and Lira Vlogs, shout out to you. Lami Castro, guys, is actually Genevieve and Lira Vlogs. Okay, thank you so much for staying, everyone. Wow, 18 people right now, 18 million people. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's actually just continue. I mean, uh, not continue, but start our, yes, congratulations, nine Sweden. Let's start our, uh, what? Let's start our language exchange, guys. So I guess you don't have opinion anymore. Jay's beta room, I'm ready. So excited. Okay, guys, so you guys excited already? So if you are shy to show your face, you can actually just, you know, um, have your voice, okay? You can join me live here with your voice, okay? 
So, of course, I respect if you don't want to show your faces, you can just actually have your voices here, okay? So, let me just remove this one. So, guys, let's over okay here. So, now, let's start learning a foreign language. Okay, guys, welcome everyone, especially all the people from different countries, different sides of the world. You are very welcome now to uh, actually... Uh, help me here with our language exchange moment. Wow, we have been live now for two hours and 15 minutes. So maybe we can have three hours tonight or more. <laughs> no, teacher, I have to do something. I can't stay longer. Yes, of course. But of course, I appreciate you guys staying here for that, you know, two hours, for that long, two hours already. Okay, so the police guess though. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to guess. So probably Russian, so please, because you're talking about you sound like Russian or Al Pacino. So are you Russian, so please, or ah, not sure, Azerbaijan or Russian? <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong, so please, but I can't remember really. No offense. So <laughs> police said no face reveal on a public account. Yes, it's very true. No problem. Okay, no problem at all. All right. So, yeah, are you ready, guys? Are you ready to hear the first expression? Wow, this is going to be Filipino. And, of course, some of our guests here can translate it into English. Of course, I can, but I would love you guys to actually participate. So, I'm just going to give the Filipino expression and you translate it into English and other more languages which our guests have here okay all right so now everyone let's start learning a foreign language okay let's make it bigger okay no that's bigger mm -hmm. okay let me check um, uh, maybe that's enough okay so now i'm going to change the color let's learn a foreign language all right so there we go uh shine amen said teacher you forgot already yes you, i forgot shine amen i'm so sorry <laughs> but i'm sure the police can understand because you know i'm getting older and i have a lot of you know friends to remember so of course i remember your names guys i mean the you know the channel and uh how you are but of course not every detail to be honest okay yes so guys ready Teacher, of course, we are ready. <laughs> okay, the first one. Let me just write it here. The first word is... So, guys, this is not Bisaya, okay? This is not Cebuano. I am giving you the language, which is our Philippine language, that is Filipino, okay? I'm not very good at that, but of course, I know, okay? I mean, I'm talking about uh, in terms of speaking, I'm not very good. I mean, yes, uh, but of course, we Filipinos can because that's our national language, okay? But I'm from Cebu, so of course, I'm very good at Visaya or Cebuano. But tonight, because uh, Filipino is our national language, so I'm sharing this to all of you who are interested in learning the Filipino language. So I'm going to put on the screen the Filipino language. And you're going to first translate it into English because that's our international language so everybody can understand. And after that, every person from different sides of the world can actually explain or translate that expression into their language, okay? Into your language, yes. Let's welcome everyone, my dear friend from Germany, Mary Goblik. Welcome to my live stream, sis. Thank you so much for coming. All right, so now let's have the first one so we have actually finished talking about the benefits of learning a foreign language so now let's start learning a foreign language okay so the first one so this expression is very popular uh maybe when you are in america or in the uk even if you are strangers you always ask this question to those people okay so I would like to request everyone, especially for those people who uh, speak Filipino. <laughs> guys, for those people who speak Filipino, I would like to request you guys to probably, uh, we will let our foreign guests here to guess first what this expression or what this, yeah, what this expression means in English before we do it, okay? 
So let's try to have it a bit of a game, a little, to make it more enjoyable, okay? We will let them guess first what this expression means. And if they cannot really get it, then that's the time we will give the English translation, okay? And then after that, the others can translate it into their language, wherever they are. It could be German, Norwegian, Swedish, French, or more country, uh, more languages, Arabic, um, Mandarin, Cantonese, or whatsoever. Okay, 20 people right now. Thank you so much. Okay. Hello, Mochika Handsome Coppers. Welcome to my live stream. I'm going to give back your jacket to you because I actually removed before everybody's uh, blue wrenches, the jacket, everybody's blue uniform I removed before because of some things that happened to my channel. Okay, so yes, I'm giving it back now. Thank you so much for coming, Mochika Handsome Coppers. Welcome to my live stream. How are you? Okay. <clears throat> So, yes, okay. All right, you guys ready? The first one is this one. Okay, here we go. Oh, where is that? Okay, the first one, guys, is this. All right. So we say in our language, Filipino language, we say, Kumusta ka? Okay? Kumusta ka? Shine amen. <laughs> shine amen. You're not going to give the answer because you already know this, shine amen. <laughs> give chance to others, okay? So guys, now I'm opening the floor to you guys to actually guess the meaning of this expression. So please, Panzo, Jess Better Room, and many other people here who are from other countries, you can actually guess now what this expression means. Of course, David Roger, yes, everybody. And Jessica Rema, I'm not sure if she's still here. So you guys are ready to express, then you can write it in English first. Okay, English first. Okay, English first. Yes. <clears throat> Pinay Ani in USA, shout out to all here cooking. Yes, Pinay Ani in USA, guys, is very busy. She is my very kind and very supportive friend. Pinay Ani in USA, of course, she's in the US. <clears throat> Mochikan Song Covers is laughing. Yes, Mochikan Song Covers. Kumusta ka? <laughs> Guys, write the English translation to this one. Kumusta ka? So let's give a chance to those people from a different country first before Filipinos can do. Shine Amen is also Filipino. <laughs> right, Shine Amen? <laughs> okay, come on. Start. Do you want me to check your attendance, guys? Okay, start. Shine Amen. Teacher, you mistake about my Tagalog. Only some dozens of words. Well, but still, you know this, Shine Amen. But maybe later, because I know that you know this, because you always use this when you greet me. So I know you know the meaning. So I'm giving the chance to Jay's Better Room first. Come on. Jay's Better Room said hello there. Nope. <laughs> Ruby's foreign family, what you're doing? <laughs> ah, okay. Shine Eman, how are you doing? How about David Roger? I think he's busy right now. He's in the background. How about Fanzo? Top police. Come on. Chica Hansen cover. Hello there. <laughs> Of course, Muchi Kansom cover guys is very uh, good at singing and she knows this word very well because she is from a place which uh, uses this language, Filipino, because um, again, Filipino is our national language and it is the language used in uh, the capital of our country. The capital is Manila. That's the capital of the capital. That's the capital. What am I talking about? Yes, the capital of Philippines is Manila. <laughs> Follow bloggers has already given her answer. How are you? Jetta G's better room said, How are you doing? Kumusta ka? <laughs> yes, guys, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the message of the person who got it right. Okay, so here we go. Kumusta ka, guys? Kumusta ka? Kumusta ka? G's better room. That actually means okay. 
how are you doing? Okay, or simply it means how are you from fellow bloggers, but you need question mark there. How are you? Okay, and that actually means, of course, how are you doing? Mustafa? Yes, how are you doing? Jay's better room. Okay, so now in Arabic, in Arabic. Guys, are you gonna join me here? Come on, color maker channel. Who can who can join me here? Okay, now let's translate that. So kubusaka is Filipino, and in English, that's how are you doing or how are you? Now in Arabic, Arabic is this one, but I don't know how to pronounce that. Kaif halik in Arabic, kaif halik. What's the meaning? Uh, color maker channel. Of course, it means how are you, but I mean, how is it pronounced? Is it kaif halik? Is it correct? Or a color maker channel. Can you join me here live tonight? <laughs> and of course, in uh, in Spanish, in Spanish language, is comozda, comozda, right? In Spanish, is it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Joby May. I'm not sure if she's still here or maybe she's in the background. Yes, nakalimutan ang question mark. Yes. So in French, of course, pinay sa Paris. Vlog, she is in France and Shine Eman is in France, but Shine Eman's answer I already put on the screen. So now I'm gonna show Pinay Safari's vlog. So in French, guys, that is Comang va, Batu. Is it correct? I mean, my pronunciation is correct. Oh, I'm so shy to speak French now. I'm in France, but I can't do it well. Comang Batu or Comang Saba, right? Comang Saba, Comang Batu. Is it correct? <laughs> Shine Eman. <laughs> yes, Comang Saba. It actually also means kumang savar, kumang batu, chu chu. I'm not sure with my pronunciation, guys. I sound ridiculous when I speak French, okay? And it also means kumang sava. All right. So yeah, and in Sweden, Swedish. Uh, but pinai pinai in Sweden has an okay. Pinai in Sweden, in Swedish language, guys. Okay, so I hope you guys are interested in this. So in Swedish, that actually means, where is that Swedish? This one. I don't know how to pronounce it. Kurmadu. Kurmadu. <laughs> guys, I hope you guys can, can join here. All the bloggers, can you speak this? Um, yeah, in Swedish, this uh, language in Swedish. How are you? Or Kumustaka? Kumustaka, how are you? Uh, I forgot the, the Arabic. <laughs> the Arabic is Taif Halik, and uh, French is Kumang Sava or Kumang Batu, and uh, Sweden is Har Hurmadu. I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly. Come on, guys, help me here. Uh, Kif, Kif Halik, Halik Inta. You can pronounce the shirt. Kif halik inta. Kif halik. Ah, it's kif halik, not kai halik. Kif halik. Just two. Sounds wrong. Ah, two. <laughs> Guys, you know, it's fun to learn a foreign language because foreign language, I mean, the language that we are learning actually have, it has different pronunciation. For example, Filipino, kumusta? But of course, if you pronounce it, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna sound <laughs> ridiculous, probably like me when I speak French. <laughs> uh, Pinay in Sweden is laughing. Pinay in Sweden is it correct? And okay, so once again, the word is actually <laughs> kumustaka. Okay, so we are talking about kumustaka. Okay. So uh, shine Eman, you shouldn't say it like two in English. Uh huh. So I should say kumang batu, tu, or tu, or tu. <laughs> Shiny man, difficult. Shiny man, can you join me here? Only your voice is fine, guys, really. Only your voice is fine because we are learning a foreign language, so pronunciation is very important. Come on. Uh, color maker channel, yes, teacher, that's good pronunciation. Okay, so kumustaka in English is how are you? In Arabic is kif halik. And in Sweden, I'm not sure the pronunciation because they haven't taught me the correct pronunciation. Does in French, ah uh, no, Filipino kumusta English, how are you? Arabic is kif halik, and uh, what's that? French is kumang sava, and uh, 
Swedish. Yes, here up. Difficult to pronounce Swedish. Come on, follow bloggers. Join me here. Follow bloggers. Come on, everyone who would like to join me here. Nobody? Nobody, nobody but me. Only me here, guys. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Shine, amen. Opo about that. <laughs> Thank you, Shine, amen. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm laughing at myself pronouncing, you know, words in French. But thank you, everyone, especially Pinay, Pinay Sa Paris and Shine Eman for, yeah, <clears throat> you are very good at speaking French already. <clears throat> and of course, Terry as well, but I think he is out there busy doing something or eating. He was eating dinner before. Okay, Jay's better room. I wash my face to join you. <laughs> you wash your face. Uh-huh. Guys, everyone, so anyone who would like to join me here, come on, please feel free. So, kumusta ka? Once again, kumusta ka in English? Can anyone follow me? Kumusta ka? Okay, you say, repeat. Kumusta ka? Kumusta ka? Okay, kumusta ka? In English, that is, how are you? In Arabic, is kif halik. In French, is kumang sava. In uh, Swedish, is, I forgot because the pronunciation is difficult. Swedish is, uh, oh my God, it's very difficult. Swedish is uh, so hard. My God, guys, what are you doing so hard? Okay, in Swedish, you actually say, where is that? I lost it. I can't remember. Hormardu, Hur, Hormardu, do you pronounce all the letters uh, in Swedish? Uh, follow bloggers and be nice in Sweden. Jay's better room. Kumustaka teacher. Yes, it's very good. Mabuti ako, mabuti. Mabuti means I'm good, I'm fine. Okay, mabuti. 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 <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, okay. Let's proceed to the next one. Color Maker Channel. Sorry, teacher. I can't join you too. I can't join you now. I'm already in bed. Oh, no problem, Color Maker Channel. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. No problem, really, because it's already very late. There is 10 p.m. here, and you are two hours ahead, so it must be midnight there, okay? So no problem at all, okay? I don't really mind, okay? Thank you. Binay in USA, kumusta? Yes, Neri Goblik. Okay, German, guys, let's have Neri Goblik, okay, in German, okay? Kumusta ka in Filipino? In English, how are you? In Arabic, kif halik. In uh, French, kumang sava. In Swedish is uh, more, oh, I forgot, more, poor mardu. And of course, in German is this one. Malapid na sis host. Okay, so we have here uh, Neri Gopli, guys. She is in Germany, so she can speak German. So in German language is this one. German. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. So Neri Gopli, would you like to help me? Wiggy e dir in. I know. Wiggy e dir. I don't know if it's correct. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no problem, sis. Can I any in USA? So, yeah, that's in German. Okay. So, again, the word is kumustaka. Thank you for that, Mary Goblik. So, people can actually learn it in writing, but the challenge is how to learn it in terms of speaking. I mean, the pronunciation is the challenge, guys. <clears throat> Follow bloggers at Bisaya Onako for Mordo. Ah, for Mordo. Uh -huh. That's how you pronounce it. For Mordo. So in, 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 in Filipino, Kumustaka. English, how are you? French, Kumangsava. Kif Halik in Arabic. And in uh, Swedish, is for Mordo. For Mordo. <laughs> and in German. <laughs> Guys, and in German, <laughs> color maker channel is laughing. <laughs> and in German is Wigish dir. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> follow bloggers, come and help me. Because actually, follow bloggers, guys, has uh, joined my live stream maybe twice or uh, once. Yeah, she joined before. <laughs> color maker channel, why are you laughing at me? <laughs> But I pronounce Kif Halik correctly, right? Ang Halik mo. Namimis ko. But Halik, guys, you know Halik? Halik is Filipino. Halik means kiss. 
okay that's it in filipino okay so <laughs> you know Rani in usa is laughing everybody's laughing at me come on guys join me here uh, uh, fellow bloggers is laughing again hormordo <laughs> my god it's very difficult hormordo hormordo do follow bloggers ha 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 ang di yes guys so that is kumusta ka okay so do you have any question everyone especially those who are interested in learning filipino language do you have any question please repeat filipino of how are you is kumusta ka okay kumusta ka kumusta ka shine amen yes that's it <laughs> Okay, ah, this is how you pronounce it in German, guys. Okay, I will send you the link. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Okay, I'll send you the link now. <laughs> Forgive your teacher, guys. Okay, here we go. Yes, thank you, Color Maker Channel. So here's the link, guys, if you want to join me here. So in German, that is Veget, Veget es dir. <laughs> Veget es dir. I don't know how, how okay, anyway. Mm, be nice, the Paris was closer to French Wayne. She said, Kumang Vatu, because Ka means you, Bida. It's not Bida, Shine Amen, Diba. It's Diba, Diba, right? Yes, Diba, not Bida. <laughs> okay. Uh, mag tua muna ako. Mag tua. What's Tua? What do you mean, follow bloggers? Okay, Pinay in Sweden, natatawa ako was. <laughs> yes, of course, it's funny, guys, but really, it's interesting to learn a foreign language. Yeah, it, at least we laugh, we learn, and have fun, you know? That's the, mo that's the most important thing. So, Pinay in Sweden, would you like to join us here? Together with fellow bloggers and everyone here, join us if you like to join us, okay? Yes. <clears throat> In Filipino, why pugsanay, pero why balibaray? Jane Beta's room, Jay's Beta room said, I'm excited to learn more Filipino language. Yes, good, shine amen, diba, is correct. Pinay in Sweden, si fellow bloggers na lang help sa'yo teacher at mukhang matagal na siya sa Sweden. Yes, she's been there for a long time. Shine amen, yes, no problem, shine amen. No problem, thank you so much, sis, Neri Goflik. Pinay in Sweden, ah, okay, I understand. <laughs> Okay, right. So the next one, guys. So I guess fellow bloggers is ready for the next expression. Okay, the next expression, <clears throat> the next Filipino expression is this one. Who is that girl I see staring through the gap? I wish I could teach you Bisaya, but uh, our national language is Filipino, so I'm just uh, showing the Filipino language, okay? Okay, so here we go. The next one is this one. Okay, here's the next one, guys. Filipino language, we say, Magandang umaga sa iyo. Magandang umaga sa iyo. Shine, amen. <laughs> Magandang umaga sa iyo. Uh, Jay's Better Room. Magandang umaga. David Roger. Magandang umaga. Everyone, so please shine, amen. Magandang umaga sa iyo. So, what is it in English, everyone? Magandang umaga sa iyo. <clears throat> Jay's better room is taking notes. Oh, that's very good. Jay's better room. That's interesting. Follow bloggers. No, I'm not really good host. No problem, but at least you can share, you know. <clears throat> so magandang umaga sa you guys in English. Can you guess? Especially to our foreign visitors here, you can guess what it means, okay? No harm in trying. There's no harm in trying. Uh, teacher is singing again with his voice. Nobody wants to say? Come on.
Sign Amen said, ah, it's in French now. Bonjour à tous. Good morning, everyone. Is it correct? Bonjour à tous. <laughs> good morgun, till dig. Or good morgun, padig. Uh-huh. Mm, okay, I'm not sure if my pronunciation is correct. So again, guys, guys, magandang umaga sa you. In, in English, it means good morning to you. Okay, good morning to you. That's magandang umaga sa you. Repeat, magandang umaga sa you. Repeat, magandang umaga sa you. Okay, it means good morning to you in English. Okay, and we have here in in, in French. Okay, let me check. What is, it? what is it in French? From Shine Amen. Shine Amen in French. Magandang umaga sa you. It means to say in French, bonjour à tous. Okay? Or good morning, everyone. Bonjour à tous. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to you. Okay? And in Swedish, in Swedish, that is, uh, that is, uh, good morgon till dig. Oh, good <laughs> Hello, bloggers is here, guys. Is going to help us how to pronounce this. <laughs> Let's welcome my beautiful friend from Sweden. Follow bloggers. Yay! Hi guys, thank you so much. Hello, sis. Welcome. Oh yeah, are you feeling better now? Oh, a little bit. Uh, I think you need to mute your YouTube. What well, should I? Not sure if my pronunciation is correct. So again, guys, guys, <laughs> mute because there's echo. Oh, you have very interesting uh, sipping wear. That's very cute, Angry Bird. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cute. Oh, thank because you so I, much Sid, for accepting the invitation. Because I'm freezing. Ah, uh, yeah, it's already cold, right? No, oh, it's cold mm. down here in Sweden, and I'm. I'm not really good feeling well, not yet, so. Not yet, so, my God, it has been many days. Did you see a doctor? Yes, but uh, yeah. I, had, I had no fever right now, so it's okay. Oh. Just uh, oh, a little cough or something. Mm, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, guys, let's welcome my dear friend from Sweden, okay? She's going to teach us how to pronounce this. <laughs> so, how to say that? Good morning, or uh, good morning today. Uh -huh. Good Again? morning today. Good morning today. Good morning today. Yeah. Oh, Ang is it correct? <laughs> Ang hira piano i pronounce talaga sa Swedish. It's really yeah, it's very hard to... to pronounce the Swedish language. Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. It's really hard. But even, you know, the French language is also hard for me to pronounce. Mm. Mm, so good morning today. Oh, tama si Spinay Sweden. Ano, one week na ito nagkasakit ko sis. Na ano ako na, ay, nasbima ako sa work. Oh my God. You should get better soon. Mm -mm. <coughs> get better soon. Oh, yeah. hmm? I'm here to support you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much sis. But please let me know. We need to leave uh, because I know it's a uh, sleeping time there in your place. Uh, I think we have the same time, right? Oh, uh, yeah, same time. I think it's... Yeah, uh, so I think you are sick, so you need to sleep early. 10 o'clock mm -hmm. right now. At uh, 10, yeah, it's the same here. 10 o'clock, yes, 10. Uh, -oh. uh yes, fellow blogger said good morning to you. That I is... Uh, you, hi to all your guest hosts. Yes, hi to everyone. Actually, they have greeted you. Uh, Shine Amen said, Bonjour. Bonjour is good morning. And in, uh, in Norwegian, guys, from our Ruby's foreign family, I don't know how to pronounce this. In Norwegian, <laughs> good morgen. Is it correct? Good morgen, Ruby's foreign family. Good morgen. <laughs> good morning. Yes, but actually, guys, uh, in French, uh, you can you can you can say uh, because there are different languages, um, different uh, words to show respect. Like if you greet uh, people, especially uh, in business or uh, people maybe a uh, higher position than you. I mean, not really friends. Of course, if you're just friend, you say bonjour à toi, good morning to you. That's in French from Pinay's Paris blog. Okay, good morning to you is uh, bonjour à toi, right? Toi or avou. <coughs> in French, toi, you can use toi. 
if um, it's uh, you are talking to your friends, if you know each other already, you can say toi. But if it's your first meeting or if you are not friends, especially if you go to offices, you say vous. Okay, you say bonjour à vous, right? Uh, Pinay is a Paris blog in Shine Amen. <laughs> yeah, Shine Amen. A two, two is everyone, but uh, you, I'm talking about only one. For example, I say Shine Amen, good morning to you. That's uh, magandang umaga sa you. So bonjour à toi, okay? That's in French. Yeah, that's very interesting. Oh. Yes, no very problem, Shine Amen. Topic. What's this? Very interesting topic you had now. So I, we can yes, learn. because uh, some of my guests actually requested for Filipino language, but I just thought, of course, it's gonna be it's gonna be boring if it's only Filipino, you know, because we have guests also from Philippines. So I just decided to have it, you know, foreign language from different sides of the world. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. in Arabic, in Arabic, guys, according to Color Maker Channel, in Arabic is uh, Suba Al Khair. Saba al Kayo. Saba al Kayo. Correct? So, I know, Saba. Saba al Kayo, Lak. Oh, yeah. Probably our pronunciation. I don't know how to pronounce that either. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys. But anyway, uh, what we are teaching you the most is Filipino, okay? Yeah. And, Kumusta ka? Magandang umaga sa you, teacher. Yes. Good job. Jay's better room. Kumusta ka? It means, how are you? Magandang umaga sa you. It means good morning to you. Okay, that's a very good job, Jay's Beta Room. By the way, guys, Jay's Beta Room is one of the people who actually requested for a Filipino language session. Okay, so that's it. Uh, Jay's Beta Room and David Roger. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Pinay in Sweden said, Uso pa yan this month, mom. Ah, yung you're talking yung to Yung sakit oh, yeah. nila sa Sweden. Yes, because this change of weather, right? Yeah. Mm. This time of uh, season here in Sweden, it's a lot of people get sick here in Sweden. It's mm. like uh, September to uh, January, February. Yes. Uh, I don't know yeah. why. <laughs> it's, the, it's the change of weather. It should be mm. the change of weather. <clears throat> be nice, Paris. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Are you going to say bonjour only or bonjour à toi? Do you need à toi? But most people, they just say bonjour in French, right? They don't put uh, to you anymore because what you understood, if uh, you are talking to that person, you say bonjour, it means it's for that person. But in Filipino, yes, we can also say magandang umaga, just like that, without sayo. But uh, some people, it is very formal, you say magandang umaga sayo. Right, uh, fellow bloggers? Yes. <laughs> That's right. Yes. <laughs> Pinay in Sweden said Nor Norway similar na Sweden language. Ah, Norwegian is similar to Swedish. Ah, that's interesting. Uh, Shine even said just bonjour, I think. Uh, yeah, bonjour. Uh, that's what I I said. Uh, because most people just say bonjour in French. Bonjour. Have you tried using bonjour, um, um, fellow bloggers? What? Have you tried using bonjour, the French uh, language of good morning? No. Ah, not, not yet. yet. Bonjour. Bonjour. Yeah, Today that's good morning. Today I learned that word. Bonjour. <laughs> yes, you are learning. What do you want? It's very difficult then, huh? Yes, yes, it is. It is, yeah, especially the accent. Oh, my God. Uh, Pinay is a Paris blog. Mm. Yeah, shine, amen, because it's not very good this time. <laughs> Yes, guys, it's welcome. We have a new friend here. Favor <laughs> Mozi. Mozi, hello. How are you, Favor Mozi? Welcome to my live stream. I hope you're interested in learning different languages tonight, foreign languages, okay? Um, Shine Amen. Bunzu Atwa does sound unusual. You're right. Yes, it doesn't sound. Uh, it, it sounds unusual. So most people just say Bunzu. But actually, in Filipino, it's also enough to say Maganda Umaga. Magandang yes. umaga. Magandang yes. umaga. Yes, when you wake up. Uh, it's okay. It's okay also mag, uh, magandang umaga po. Yes, uh, po. In Filipino, guys, we usually that's put the po. Way, that's the way we uh, give respect to the older people in, in Philippines. Yes. So that is uh, mm. Swedish. Ah, uh, In Swedish, there is like that as well? No. Yeah, uh, no. 
they don't have uh, in Sweden. Mm. But in Filipino guys, if you want to be more respectful or more polite, yes. it's okay. okay, more polite, the word is polite, okay, to be more polite, we usually put po at the end of the uh, thing that we say. For example, uh, you say, kumusta ka? You say, kumusta ka po? So it's very polite. Or magandang umaga, magandang umaga po. So there is always po. Right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for that reminder, fellow bloggers. Thank you so much. Just a little bit post. I'm just here. To <laughs> but yes, a little thing means a lot, you know? Thank you so much. Yes. So Jay's better room here said, teacher, who's your friend? She's so pretty. Yeah, she's so pretty. That is fellow bloggers from Sweden. Oi. She's married to a Swedish guy. <laughs> Oi, thank you so much, GC Vita Rome. <laughs> Yes, that is follow bloggers, everyone. Big lang nahiya. <laughs> no. We are beautiful, Char. <laughs> Thank you so much. All Filipina, Filipinos, and all over people is beautiful. All of us are beautiful. Yes. I agree. Pinaysa Paris, all Filipinos are beautiful. Pinaysa Paris, Respawn family, Pinay in the USA. <laughs> yes. Um. Color Maker Channel said in my own local dialect in Bicol, Maray na Aga. Ah, okay, that is Bicolano because actually, guys, in Philippines, we have different dialects. Okay, in Philippines, we have different dialects. So, uh, uh, for Filipino language, we say Magana Umaga. And uh, yes, Magana Umaga sa you. That means good morning to you. And in Cebuana, we say uh, Maayong Buntag. Maayong Buntag. Magandang Umaga in Cebuana. Maayong Buntag, yes. But in uh, in what in uh, in color makers dialect in Bicol, Maray na aga. Ah, it's easy to pronounce. Maray na, aga. Maray na aga. Maray na aga. Maray na aga. Yes, Maray, Maray na aga. Parang ang ang sarap pakinggan. It's very. Nice it's easy to pronounce, right? What? Yeah, it's easy because anyway, it's very near to our uh, Filipino language. Filipino language. Dialect in Bicol is Maray na aga. Ah, interesting. Mm -hmm. Guys, uh, Castor Antony, guys, is not a blogger, okay? Uh, this is my daughter. <laughs> she's uh, she's there in the other room. Uh, I think she's watching right now. <laughs> yes, it's so Angel signing. Mm -hmm. Arnid Sumiling, na unsa ka pala bloggers. Uh, huh? I got sick for almost one week now. Mm, yes. May nagtanong ko si. Oh yeah, yeah, it's okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's uh, that's true. Be born family here. I don't tell you. Know? Host. Do you know that it is Ruby's born family? <laughs> no. Yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Ruby's born family. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so that's it, guys. So we have Kumusta ka? Magandang umaga. And the next one, are you guys ready? Yes. Because uh, Jay's Beta Room is uh, taking notes, guys. It's interesting, okay? <laughs> the next one. What is it in a, in a, okay. It's difficult to pronounce in a Swedish, really. Okay, next one. Would you like to give another Filipino language, fellow bloggers? Uh, I'm going to write it. Uh, anong nangyari sa'yo? Oh my God, very difficult. <laughs> maybe we will give that after, okay? <laughs> so maybe we have good morning. And oh, after anong, that... Anong nangyari sa'yo? Yeah, this anong nangyari sa'yo? Mm, yeah, it's a question. Oh, it's a question. I'm going to write it. It's a... A very local meaning in Filipino language. Iba ginagamit yes. na lang yan. Yeah, it's widely used. It's very common. Yeah, it's very common lang uh, ano, words na ginagamit natin always every day. Many yeah. times in a day. Okay, here we go. The next one, guys. Okay, are you ready? So this is another ano Filipino expression. Sa Anong nangyari sa iyo? Mm-hmm. You, you speak Bisaya also, fellow bloggers? Yes, I'm Bisaya. Ah, okay. Mm, because uh, for those people who are Tagalog, uh, I'm not, yes. Okay, anong nangyari sa iyo? 
sa'yo. Anong nangyari sa'yo? Anyone who can guess? Ano nangyari sa'yo? Let me check. Swedish yung ano ko. Okay, what is it in Swedish? Uh, uh, yes, I'm still on the so please. Of course, I am. We are learning foreign language now because a few minutes ago we were just talking about the benefits. So now we are learning a foreign language. Okay, so this is. I'm writing I'm now. Uh, I'm writing now. Who's the the Swedish language in? Anong nangyari sa yo? Okay, okay, all right. But uh, I think first we will explain in English, okay, and then Swedish. Yes. Uh -oh. Okay. So anong nangyari? Haba sister, yes, haba. Anong nangyari sa yo? <laughs> it's not in my 60 words list yes i mean anong nangyari sa you actually it means uh anyone Filipino there who can give the yes. meaning in english what happened, what happened to you are they, are they what happened to you in english yes that's, that's right yeah <laughs> that's, can, that's right i cannot speak english now host <laughs> <laughs> no, we Filipinos can speak English. Yeah, what, happened what happened to you? What happened to you in English? I think. Yes, in English, of course. That means what happened to you. Um, Pinaisa Paris blog. He she speaks Visaya and Biko. Oh, you also speak Bicolano. Wow. So Color Maker Channel is actually from Biko. Oh. So I guess uh, maybe your neighbors in Biko. You just didn't know that. <laughs> Okay, so guys, anong nangyari sa'yo? Actually, in English, okay, it depends, okay? If you say every day, if you're talking about every day, the person looks like the person has a problem every day, you can say, what happens to you? What happens? So, you're talking about general thing. But if you think something already finished, you can actually say, what happened what? to you? Yes, what happened to you? When ED, last, hello, ED. I don't know. Yeah, easy. Yes, that's right. Last four. Yeah. What happened to you? Okay, anong nangyari sa you? In Filipino, okay, if something you think finished already, something already happened, you can actually say, ah, okay, Paolo Blah is here. You can actually it's say, it. what, happened, what to happened to you? Yes, that's yes. correct. I, I got correct. <laughs> <laughs> it's correct, of course. <laughs> I'm so happy I got correct. <laughs> I'm yes, sorry, what happened guys, to my, you? My rose is not so good, but still not. <clears throat> yeah, you you actually need the rest of that is. Mga bisaya kawai kawai pujan yes. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, Neil631, for being there. Okay, guys, so anong nangyari sa you in English is what happened to you. And in Swedish, I'm gonna, where is the message of follow bloggers? You will pronounce it there, okay? Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, in Swedish. Vahande Madei. Oh, Vahande Madei. Yeah. So, G. That's now? right. Oh. Yeah, oh, I'm so happy I pronounced it well. Yes, you did right. You don't pronounce G sound in uh, Swedish. I'm so proud of your host. That's <laughs> the first time. <laughs> because of you, you, you are a great teacher, time. Swedish teacher. Bahande Midei, you, you got it the first time. Oh my Bahande god. Bahande Midei, oh, Bahande oh. Midei, my <laughs> name. <laughs> That's good. You can learn more <laughs> Swedish language host. Yeah, it's very interesting. But, you know, I think the way you pronounce Swedish is similar to French. You don't pronounce the last letter, which is consonant, right? For example, oh, D no, and you, G. You're just like uh, you're singing out it. Oh, yeah. yeah like Because in French, we don't also pronounce the last letter, especially the consonant. So, mm -hmm. For example, uh, what? Uh, for example... Va is V A S, so S is not pronounced. We say va. Va. Mm -hmm. Same in Swedish. Uh, 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 vad. Uh, normally you can speak vad, vad. But when you um. speak it right away, vahande midei. Mm. So in speaking, vahande midei. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Okay, it so we have Yes, thank you so much for the thumbs up, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I did thumbs up for, uh, for 
Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. No problem. There you go. <laughs> okay. And in Norwegian, guys, Norwegian, that is, I don't know how. Right? Similar to Sp Swedish. Norwegian. Yeah, a little bit. This is Norwegian. Norwegian. And what about in French? Where is Pinay Annie, uh, Pinay Safaris and Shine Eman in, in French? What is it in French? Uh, Castor and Tony has given an answer. What is it? Oh, I can't find it. Kiketa? Oh, I don't understand. Is that the meaning? <laughs> okay, this better room said, Kumusta ka? Magandang umaga sa iyo. Anong nangyari sa iyo po? Oh, very good! That's really That's a great good. Job. Yes, yes. Ka, ka, magandang umaga sa iyo. Anong nangyari sa iyo po? Oh, that's really good. Yes, very good. When you see the person, kumusta ka? Magandang umaga sa iyo. Anong nangyari sa iyo po? Yes, yeah, because really you good are... meaning. Yes, very good sentence, you know. Yeah, and in Arabic, sentence. <laughs> in Arabic is this one. Uh, in Arabic is always oh, difficult, huh? Is Pimo Muskila in Madahadata? Oh, difficult. Uh, inta. Uh, oh, you you speak you speak Arabic as well? No. Ah, okay. <laughs> but what is it in French? Shine Amen and Pinay Safari's vlog. What is it in Miss French? Miss what happened to you? What happened to you? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> Okay, here. Ah, kiss kita, kiss kita. We oui? yes, kiss kita. Okay, so I think there's a yes. Okay, what happened to you in French is kiss kita, kiss kita. Yeah, kiss kita. Yeah, kiss, kiss ki, kiss kita, kiss kita. Yeah, is it correct, shiny man? Kiss kita. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm in France, but I can't pronounce French correctly. Okay. Yes, kes kita. Kes kisi kite arivi. Uh huh. So it's also this is the same shine Eman. Oh, thank you, color maker channel. That's correct. Shine Eman said you can also say kes 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 kisi arivi. Yeah, kes kite arivi. Ang galing mo si sa magaling pronounce sa mong ang galing mo mag pronounce sa iba't ibang ano languages. No, it's just like you because you know you you've been staying there for a long time, so you can pronounce the language there correctly. In my case here, I've been saying I've heard a lot. I've heard a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really good in Swedish language too, but I try. But I cannot. I cannot really pronounce well. I mean, I sound ridiculous. Really. Hello, Wondering Real. Welcome to my live stream. Thank you so much for coming, dear. We actually finished discussing about the benefits of learning a foreign language. So now we are learning foreign languages from different sides of the world. If you guys are interested, come join us. Hi, Sis Wonder World. Welcome to English. English, <laughs> <laughs> English teacher in France. Uh, no, LS. Yes, everybody is welcome. So Pinay in Sweden said, Kiss kita daw. <laughs> yeah, the song is Kiss kita. Guys, Top Police is here. He's joining us now live. Let's welcome Top Police. Okay, Top Police, are you going to speak in English, right? I will speak Filipino. You speak in English. And uh, fellow bloggers will speak Swedish. Okay? Yes. Hi, Top Police. Yes, yes. Okay. Hi, <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? Can you can, can you try Mahal Kita Sis post? Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, next. Yeah. Ah, okay. So that's it in uh, in French. Uh, in mm -hmm. French also is this one. Okay. Qu'est-ce que vous arrivez? Qu'est-ce que vous arrivez? Ah, qu'est-ce que vous arrivez? That's more more polite, right? Be nice Paris blog. It's more polite. Mm -mm. Yes. Yeah. Qu'est-ce que vous Kiss ki kiss ki arrivi. Yes, that's correct in French. Oh, interesting, guys. So the next one, guys, is 
So, Jay's better room, you can use this to your girlfriend, okay? If your girlfriend is Filipina, uh, who else? Um, Terry? Terry yeah. is also, Terry's girlfriend is Filipina as well. So, she can use this one. The next one is related in Tagalog, Kiss Kiss. But yes, Kiss Kita, yeah, it's a uh, sound similar to Tagalog. Guys, let's welcome Nature Simplistic Beauty Photography. My very supportive friend is here. Thank you so much for coming. Welcome, welcome. So we are now learning. So I have your two guests. The other one is speaking English and the other is speaking Swedish, okay? If you guys are interested to share your language here, please don't hesitate to join us here live, okay? Dan Fowler, hi, hello, how are you? Dan Fowler, welcome to my live stream. Another very supportive friend of mine is here. Let's welcome Dan Fowler. All right, so the next one. So this is actually the request of um, follow bloggers, okay? The next expression is, this is very useful, guys, to your lovers, to your loved ones, to your girlfriend, to your boyfriend. Okay. Everybody. Huh? <laughs> everybody. 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 It's very useful word. What's that? Yung, ano, that's Russian. Nakita. Very useful word. Ah, that's Russian. No, it's ah, that's Russian. Ah, so now I know you are Russian, right? So please. <laughs> nah, I'm not. Not at all. But people are, <laughs> people are always say I am. Thumbs up, please. <laughs> Okay, next one. Yeah, rain of a blue. Yeah. What what is it, thought police? Rain of a blue. What does it mean? The What's dice that? the dice have fallen. Yeah, it's What's it's it's gambling it's gambling vocabulary. I don't hear you, horse. Ah, okay. You can't hear me? No. Rain of a blue. Okay. No. <laughs> I hear you now. All right. So anyway, the next expression is, so we will just translate the expression that I will be posting on the screen, okay? So the next one is this. This is another Filipino expression. Here we go. Mahal kita, mahal kita, mahal kita. Follow bloggers, what's the meaning of mahal kita, everyone? Mahal kita, mahal kita. Yes, correct. Mahal kita. That sounds good. But police, you did it well. Guess <laughs> 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 so. So what is mahal kita, guys, in English? Thank you, Lunati. Good. Welcome to my live stream. Thank you, everyone. So, mahal kita, guys, in English. Anyone who can say, Dan Fowler, shine, amen. Do you know what it means? Mahal kita? Mahal kita is Filipino. Mahal kita. Mahal Follow kita. Blog. Yes, mahal kita. Exactly. Yeah. Ask a day for Swedish language. Mahal kita din is host. I ah, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's check the chat room if someone has written in English. Mm -hmm. Okay, follow bloggers have written it in English. Okay, mahal kita, guys. In English is actually, I love you. Okay. So, yeah, it almost, it almost sounds like Hawaiian. Ah, uh, really? It sounds like Russian? No, nah, Hawaiian. Oh. Ah, Hawaiian. Mahal kita, mahal kita. Hello, yeah, hey, hello, hey. <laughs> mahal kita is I love you, okay? And <laughs> yes, very good. Yes, so please. Mahal kia, mahal kia. Hello, we are, hello, we are. I don't hear that. I don't know. You cannot hear the other host. That's actually thought police. No. But uh, thought police doesn't show his face. He's only having his voice here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, but I don't. Mm. I don't it's want okay. to. Okay. I there. respect that. So yeah. Jean Better Room said, "I love you, Mahal Kita." Yes. Very good job. Jean's French. That's actually in French. Oh, with a kiss from shiny shiny men in French. That's actually. Zutem. I'm not rushing at them. At them, follower. Huh? 
What is I'm this? not rushing it then. Uh, then follower. Just talk uh, to the chat. He is not really Russian, but I think he can speak Russian. He can speak Russian, right? Help, please. Not really. Uh huh. Okay. So anyway, uh, mahal kita in English is I love you. In French is je t'aime. And in British, I'm in British. Why British? <laughs> In uh, Swedish is this one. Paul Lovers is going to teach us guys. Uh, Swedish. Yeah, ask a day. Hmm? Yeah, ask a day. Yeah, ask a day? Yes. Oh, very Ooh. good. <laughs> yeah, ask a day. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I can remember. Good night, <laughs> Sispina in Sweden. Mahal kita. I love you. Yeah, ask a day. Yes. And what that else? Means I love you. Yeah, so what is it in French? Thought police. Can you remember? Uh, in French, I don't know it. It's I don't know French. Je t'aime in French. in <laughs> Sweden. Nati nati. Yes. Okay. And Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, Mahakita, everyone. <laughs> oh, good night, good night in Sweden. Good night, thank you so much for coming. And we have here a message from Pinais, the Paris vlog. She said, Jutem, my teacher. Yes, uh, Jutem, my professor, right? Is it correct? Jutem, my professor, correct? Uh, Shine Women and Pinais, the Paris, <laughs> my professor, it means my teacher. Uh, shut out in Arabic. Uh, pro a professor is a teacher. Yeah, teacher. And um, color maker channel said in uh, in French. Uh, no, not in French. In Arabic, it's uh, in a ab or anahab inta. Anahab inta. Ooh. Ah, there is shortcut. Habibi, are you sure Habibi is I love you? Yeah, wow. it's a baby. In, it's a baby. Oh, very in, simple, Habibi. Yeah. In Arabic. Easy, right? Oh, you also know Arabic, the police. Huh? You also know Arabic. Yeah, not a little bit, but ah, uh, so you know a lot of basic but... French. In German, it means ich liebe dich. <coughs> oh yeah, there we go. German ich liebe dich. <laughs> Correct. Yes. In English, German it means I love you. As Niri can share. Yeah. Maybe, uh, she's not there now. Who? Ah. Uh, Neri, Neri. Ah, yes, it's just in the background, sis, because uh, she's doing something. Mm. Can you say it again in Filipino? Mahal kita. Mahal kita. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Very good. So, Jay's better room. Do you want to practice speaking here? Jay's better room? Come on. If you want to join us, you can join tonight. So, Jay's better room said, Kumusta ka magandang umaga sa iyo? Anong nangyari sa iyo? Mahal kita. <laughs> In Espo. Mahal kita El Espo. Ah, you love my El Espo. You're just blowing out my fucking eardrums. No what is that? Nandyan pa rin yun. He's staying a long time. Yeah, so please, uh, it's very supportive. He is a content consumer. Very supportive. <clears throat> okay, so I guess that's it for the expression mahal kita okay so if you guys are interested mahal in kita. Learning, i'm sorry mahal kita mahal kita mahal kita yes that's correct <laughs> <laughs> okay the next next one is very common guys it's very common and it's very useful wherever you go uh, in every corner of Philippines, okay? It's very common. Uh, this is uh, this is to show your courtesy. When someone does something for you, you usually say this, okay? So you can guess what it means in English and after that in your own language, okay? The next one is, let me write it here. Moment, please, sorry. Okay, the next one is this. 
Okay. Can you try to say it, though, please? Uh, say what? Salam huh? Thank you. I don't know what happened, but the police is not clear. Oh, he's gone. The police? Oh, here he's here. The police? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you're there. Can you try to say it? Uh, say what? <laughs> no. <laughs> In Filipino, we say. Salamat. 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 Yeah. Salamat. Yeah. Salamat. Salamat what? <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> Very good question, so please. Okay. Yes, salamat, guys, is actually in English. That it is. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Dan Fowler. Salamat. Okay. Salamat is thank you. It's very common among Filipinos, if even to everyone, when you want to express your gratitude. If someone does something for you as a favor or something, you always say salamat. The same here in France. Well, we always say merci. In French, it's merci. In French, you say. <laughs> huh? Merci. In well, French, you say merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. That is, thank you very much. <laughs> You know, the Paris, his voice is really like that. <laughs> yeah, these better rooms. Salamat is thank you. Okay, salamat is thank you. Yes, yeah, and... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, later, color makers. <laughs> salamat, salamat. Okay. All right, so that's it. English is salamat. I know Filipino salamat. English, uh, thank you. And in French, it is. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> uh, merci is only thank you. But if you want to say thank you very much, that's merci beaucoup. Yeah, merci beaucoup. Yes, merci beaucoup. <laughs> and in Swedish, fellow bloggers, what is it in Swedish? I read it down there. Also. Huh? Can you read it? In in Swedish, tak. 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 Oh, very simple. Tak, yes. Tak. 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 Very simple. T T A C K. Tak. 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 Yes. Tak. Tak. Interesting. <laughs> okay, in in a, in a Arabic is shukran. Thank you. Merci, merci, merci bien. It's merci, merci bien, merci bien, merci, merci bien. Oh. Yes, or merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Yeah. Yeah. In Arabic is what's that? Shukran, shukran. Is it correct? Color maker channel. Shukran. Yes, guys. So anyway, uh, salamat in English is thank you. Okay? Thank you. Yes, salamat. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah. In German, it's Dankeschön. What is it in Dankeschön. German? Dankeschön. Dankeschön. Can you write it? Can I write it? Yeah. Yes, I can. German? No, can you write it though, please? <laughs> Yeah, I'll write. Okay. Oh, thank you, Color Maker Channel. Salamat, Color Maker Channel. <laughs> Tak. Oh, shukran. Oh. There, there you have it. There you have it in your fucking comment section. Huh? <laughs> there you have it in your comment section. How do you say it? Dankeschön. Dankeschön. Uh huh. Dankeschön. Oh. Did you study German? Yes. Uh, my daughter said yes, it's correct. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> oh, similar to thank you. Thank, 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 thank you, Sean. Oh, interesting, huh? <laughs> we learned a lot today. <laughs> yes, I'm thank learning you. a lot, but I'm not sure if I have absorbed a lot. <laughs> thank you, Sean. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Sean. Oh, interesting. There's even a song about it. Huh? Thank you, Shen. Oh, thank you, Shen. Thank you, Shen. Ooh, it's a song. Yeah. 
It's the same. Oh. <coughs> wow. So can you finish that song? Can you finish singing that song? So oh, please. <laughs> I don't I don't know the song, but you can Google it. <laughs> if you if you want to Google it, it's Okay, so I'm gonna try oh, checking I'll put it down in the sign. Uh, I'll put it down. I'll put it down in the chat. Okay, so we have here uh Jay's better room with learning Filipino. He actually made a long sentence. He said, Kumusta ka magana gumaga sa you and on an yari sa you mahal kita and is po salama teacher. <laughs> Yes, very good job, Jace Better Room. So are you ready to join us, Jace Better Room? To actually speak? Yes, an old song. Ah, it's an old song. Yeah, it's an old song from 1950s. Yes. Jace uh, Better Room, guys, even the is here. 1940s, maybe. Oh, I see. Oh, old song. So, Dan Fowler, you also know how to sing that song, Dan Fowler. So, guys, let's welcome Jace Better Room. Hello, Jace Better Room. Kumusta ka? <laughs> Hi, kumusta ka? Hi. <laughs> hey man, what's going on? Papa. Good. Are you a Filipino or are you American? Why? No, he's I'm not. Mexican. I'm Mexican, what? yeah. He, what? You are? Yeah, I'm Mexican. A Mexican. Ah, you are Mexican. Yo, yes. okay. Nice oh, meeting okay. you here in uh, English. In Hola, ¿qué tal? LS. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> yeah. So, please, mahal kita. That's the most. <laughs> yeah, Hola, ¿qué tal? 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 But Jay's better room, I'm wondering, why do you want to learn Filipino language? Because I want to visit the Philippines and maybe live there sometime. Oh, that's okay. great. So I hope the, the the expressions or the things that you learned tonight are really useful for you. Yes, thank you very much, teacher. It's my pleasure. <laughs> I'm not, I'm wow. not, I'm not, I gotta learn, I gotta look at it. I, I can't, I, I can't hear him. <laughs> Okay. Oh, so excuse me, GC, because I'm not really good speaking English as as, as uh, our our host. She's really good English, but not me. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Uh, you uh, I'm sorry about that, follow. <laughs> Continue, oh, okay. Huh? Continue? Yes. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so I'll go back and chat now. I'm sorry, Jay's better room. I'm gonna go back and chat, and uh, I'm still learning. I need to learn more. <laughs> so, you don't want to stay there anymore? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're gonna stay there because you're gonna see what I'm teaching. Okay. <laughs> Teacher, thank you very much. And everyone have to go now. Bye, Shine. Amen. Salamat, mahal kita, teacher. You are very welcome. Mahal din kita, Pinay sa Paris vlog. <laughs> thank you. Have a great evening. Have a great uh, sleep, okay? Thank you so much, Pinay sa Paris vlog. And let's yeah. just read the messages in the chat room, okay? Yeah, have a good night. Yes, have a good night from the police. Uh, Dan Fowler has a question, the police. Uh, Dan Fowler? Yeah, he has a question to you. How long have you been living in the USA? Yeah. Mm, in the chat room? Yeah. I guess since 1994. Ah, oh, since 1994. That's quite long. Yeah, approximately. Mm, that's quite long. Since okay. I was 14 years old. <laughs> Uh, Shine Amen said, teacher, sorry, I go with Vinaysa Paris. I mean, at the same time now. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Shine Amen. Anyway, you have been here for a long time. Thank you so much. Have a great uh, sleep, Shine Amen. Thank you very much. Salamat. Merci buko, Shine Amen. <laughs> um, okay, so let's proceed. The other thing. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. 
color what is it? making at, at color making channel. I color appreciate making. that. Yes, your voice is yeah, great. Color making channel. Uh-huh. Okay. Thanks, so, uh, mm -hmm. so Jay's better room is drinking water because he is ready to practice the next words or the next expression, right? Okay, the next one. <laughs> Okay, here we go. The next one is <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Hello bloggers, would you like to read this? Wait. Did I see anything? Great, what? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm showing it on the screen. Okay, here we go. Oh, why is it double? Sorry. Sorry, guys. Moment. I double it. I'm very sorry. Are you okay there, Thought Police? Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely fine. Okay, you're still fine. Just let me know if you're not fine anymore, okay? <laughs> I don't see the... I can't see the, the word. Yeah, I'm putting it on the screen, okay? Here we go. Okay. Magandang gabi. Magandang gabi. Yes, magandang gabi po. Po is just polite way of saying something. You put it at the end, okay? Magandang gabi po. Can you repeat uh, Jay's better room? Magandang gabi. Magandang gabi po. Magandang gabi. Magandang gabi po. Uh, so please. Magandang gabi po. Okay, that sounds good. How about you, Jay's Better Room? Magandang gabi po. Actually, Jay's yes. Better Room in Filipino, we pronounce G, 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 G. G, oh, magandang. Magandang. Magandang gabi po. Magandang gabi po. Magandang gabi po. Okay, that's not bad. It's okay. Yes, that's not bad. Very good. Magandang gabi po. Okay, that's my Magandang gabi. <laughs> oh, where is the, the... Oh, what happened? Ah, did you... Ah, did you mute? Uh, uh, the police? Okay, anyway. No, uh, no. So, Magandang I, I, I muted myself for a while. Ah, okay. No problem. So, Magandang gabi po. What is it in, in English, guys? Yes, you are very welcome. Po. Magandang gabi po. Yes. yes, in English, good that evening is in English. <laughs> good evening. Okay? That is good Magandang evening. Good evening, people. <laughs> very good, though, please. Uh, Pinay in any USA said, very cute accent. So, magandang gabi. <laughs> magandang gabi, po. Can you try yeah. again, Jace, at the room? Magandang, magandang gabi, po. No? Yes, that's not bad. It's correct. Magandang gabi po. Mag, g, g. Maga, maga, dang po. That means good evening. Maga, maga dang gabi po. Yes. yes, that means good evening. Okay, good that evening. is good evening in English. Good evening. Yeah, yes. Sir. In Swedish, it's go kväll. Uh-huh, okay, I'm going to put it. Okay, in English, that is actually good evening. All right. Understand. And in Swedish... Yes, go I'm quack. good. Go oh, please in better room according to Color Maker channel. And follow bloggers in Swedish. What is good evening in Swedish? Go well. Eh? Go well. Go well? Yes. Go well. Yeah. Go well. Go well. Ah, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, kumusta ka guys? Okay, ano na kumusta? What am I talking about? <laughs> it's uh we're talking about magandang gabi po. Okay, magandang gabi po. That is Filipino. In English, that's actually good evening. Okay, good evening. And in French, that's actually bonsoir in French. Bonsoir. So good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. In German, it means good night. What is it in in, in German? Uh, the police. Good night. Go, uh, can you write it if you don't mind? Good night. Good night. 
Exactly. Oh. So uh, my pronunciation is excellent, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're good. Exactly. You have it. Marketing Good night. Yes, can you repeat all uh Jay's better room? Magadan Kapipo Kumasapo. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good, very yeah. good conversation. Yes, that's you very good. Filipino language now. Yeah, because uh, he actually requested for a Filipino language session. Oh. Yes. Hello, the Karino family. Sorry? Salama teacher. Oh, very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice of you. You are using the language that you have learned now. Um, um, Jay's better room. Welcome, Perino family. And Fanzo, welcome back, Fanzo. And we have Wondering World. Yes, thank you so much for staying. I really Good appreciate it. Good evening, Fanzo. Yeah? Good evening, Fanzo. Good night, Fanzo. Huh? Ah, Fanzo. Ah, good evening, Fanzo. In German, yeah. that's actually... Uh, oh, sorry, what's that? Good night, Fanzo. Exactly. So, in German, it's right. uh, Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Yep. Guten Abend. Okay, oh. Bonjour, bonjour. Uh, Wondering World said, oh, I know that teacher. Guten Abend. Ah, yeah, I think many people know that, right? Guten Abend is good evening, okay? So, again, we're talking about the Filipino language, which is Magandang gabi po. That is good evening. All right. So, uh, can you say it again, Jay's better room? Magandang gabi po. Kumusta po? <laughs> okay, that's good. Very good. So yes, good. very good. Very good. Okay, so actually, guys, we only have, uh, how can I say, uh, maybe 10 minutes more. And I'm actually going to end the stream, okay? Because I have been live for three hours and 30 minutes now. So oh, and I'm not sure if you're going to want me to make it four hours, but it's very late already. So I'm planning it's to have late. 10 going to sleep tomorrow. The... Yes, we will do it. We might continue it uh, on another day, okay? Oh. Yeah. Uh, I one, thing, one thing I want to point out to you is Dan Fowler. Mm -hmm. Dan Fowler. What my Fonso, nice to first you name here Adam. means. So thank you, Fonso. What, what my first name means here. You can Google it. Magandang gabi po. You can just <laughs> go and Google it. Fonso speak, ano. It has a direct Filipino connection too. with 1984. Aha, you learned Filipino, Fonso. So just Google it. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure Dan Fowler maybe already knows the meaning, right? Yes, yeah. that's Fonso. It's, it's just a honey trap for that guy. Uh, I mean, I don't want to be mean, but he just wants me to to say some some bad words around here. Mm -hmm. That's my suspicion. I'm sorry, the police. That's my suspicion. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. All right. <coughs> wanna, okay. You want to really, you want to really know what it means? No, uh, he already knows. Okay, I think Dan Fowler is just kidding, about please. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. He's I kidding. Just don't, I just don't want to put it out there and on, on, on the channel. <laughs> okay. no. anyway, let's proceed to the next one. This might be the last expression. Yeah. All right. Yes, go for it, the last one, before we end. Okay, here we go. The next one is this one. Okay, can you read, follow bloggers? Saan ka nakatira? Yes, saan ka nakatira? Mm -hmm. Can you repeat? <laughs> so please, do you want to say Filipino? <laughs> what did you say? 
Saan ka Saan nakatira? nakatira? Where did you live in English, I think? No, not Saan there. Saan ka nakatira? Nakatira. Can you repeat, Jay's better room? Saan ka nakatira? Oh, that's not bad. The police. Nakatira. Nakatira. Sanka Nakatera? Yeah. Sanka Nakatera. Yeah, that's great. Sanka Nakatera. Thank you what it means. Sanka Nakatera. Nakatera. Sanka Nakatera. Goodbye, everyone. Sanka Nakatera. Jeez, that's a room. Do you understand? No, I just guess. Nakatera. <laughs> where did where where do you live in English? Yes. Oh. Where do you live? Okay. In English, yes, where do you live? Where do you live? Oh, oh where do you live? Uh, F yeah. no fucking yeah, there. It's, it's very important words to learn. Look, so when you're going to when you're going to Philippines. Yeah, when you go to Philippines, you can actually use this. When you want to make friends and when you, yes. you want to know where where the person lives, you can say, yes. where do you live? Saan ka nakatira? Okay? Mm. Saan ka nakatira? Saan ka nakatira? Good job, Dr. Police. Nakatira. Saan ka nakatira? Saan ka nakatira? Nakatira. Yeah, that's so. Really? Sounds like Japanese. Yes, Fanzo. It sounds like Japanese. Yeah. We have okay. really good students um, today, host. Hmm? Do you ha do you, you have a good student today? Yes, they're always good. So please always there in the chat room every time they really? arrive. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Jay's better room also. He has been present for Three consecutive consecutive days now, right? Uh, Jay's better room. Yes. Yes, because he want to have this kind of lesson, a Filipino language lesson. So, can you repeat? Um, Jay's better room. Anang nang sorry, Sanka nakatira. Oh, I mean. Oh, wait, I was no trying to say police. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know, I understand, but you just need to practice it. Yeah, I'm trying to practice. Uh, yeah, all right. You know, it's practice makes to me. perfect. You're talking to me. Huh? What is it, though, police? You're talking to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking yes, to I'm you. Yes, I'm talking to you. <laughs> uh, Luna, good. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. How about you, Jay's better room? <coughs> Sanka Nakatira. Yes, very good. Sanka Nakatira. Do not be good, Beth. They sound, they sound very cute. <laughs> yeah, it sounds really cute. Sanka really Nakatira. Good. Yes, that's good. Sanka Nakatira. One more time, Jay's better room. Sanka Nakatira. Yes. Okay. You know, practice makes perfect. So you just, you just need to practice that. It doesn't mean you learn something, you learn a foreign language, and you don't use it, you will actually end up forgetting it. Yeah, I'm going to use it on, my, on the streams of my friends. They're from Philippines, so yeah. Ah, you do? Yeah. They do yeah, a lot of um, LS, so yeah. I, I like to try to talk to them, and yeah. Mm -hmm. So I hope you're going to use those expressions to them when you visit their live streams. <laughs> yeah. I'm, because just more shy way, I'm just shy right now. But, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> but I think kumustaka is very common, so I'm sure you will use it all the time. And you can easily remember that. That's very common. Kumustaka. Mm -hmm. Every time you meet a Filipino, you always say kumustaka. Uh, just like in, your, in, your, in the UK or in America. You always say how are you to everyone or in Australia. You always say how are you, even if you don't know the person. You just, you know, you just meet. Yeah. So uh, I have a question before I end the stream. Uh, what do you think about learning Filipino, Jay's Better Room? And so uh, please, okay, I would like to hear from Jay's Better Room first. 
I'm very excited about learning. I'm like happy. I never thought I would be able to learn right now. So thank you so much. Salama, teacher. Oh, oh hey. 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 Better <laughs> Wow, you see, you're able to use what you have learned. That's a great job. Yo. How about you, so, please? You did a great job, GZ. Yeah, uh, I'm not. Yes. I'm not. Yes. Yes. I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm actually interested. And uh, we have a uh, very good teacher, isn't it? Awesome teacher. We have an you're awesome teacher. Yeah, okay. <laughs> She's really good. You learn a lot from her. Oh, thank you so much. Salamat, salamat. Salamat, <laughs> salamat. Yes? Uh, pardon, pardon me. Are you interested yes. in learning Filipino or a foreign language, another foreign language? Yeah, I'm not that interested. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's interesting to, to, to learn new cultures and new languages, you know. Yeah, I have time to do it, you know. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it's interesting actually. It's <laughs> gonna be more interesting if you are planning to go to a certain country or place which uses that language, right? Like Jay's better room, he has the motivation to learn that because he has the plan to go to that place. And you said Manila is the capital. Uh, I'm not actually yeah. planning yeah. to go there. In the in Philippines is Manila. Yeah, that's capital. Are you planning to go to Philippines? So who is? Not really. I mean, I like, I like, I like for Are you planning to go to Philippines? Uh, pardon me. Are you married to the Filipina? No, I'm not. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm single. I'm single. No kids. I'm just, I'm no kids. I'm just interested in, <laughs> this better room, in, in people in general, you know. Ah, yeah, yeah. I guess and, you have. I'm, I'm also very, very interested in, in the Philippines, basically, because of Rodrigo Duterte, you know. I, I sort of agree with his. With his policies against against socialists and communists, I mean, hate me for it, but yeah, that's right. But anyway, it's interesting to learn, I mean, culture, of course, and language is part of it. How about you, Jay? That's Bethlehem? that's my point about it. Uh huh. Yeah, but the question is, what makes a person more motivated to learn a foreign language? In your case, Jay's better room. What was the question? Oh, I didn't say it well. <laughs> no, I was, I was, I was listening I to the poem. I don't you also. So I'm wondering about my English skill right now. <laughs> That's perfect. So I was actually asking, what makes a person more motivated to learn a foreign language? I think the motivation comes to wanting to visit. Circumstances. Uh, to the Full stop. Mm-hmm. Okay, so police said circumstance. How about Jay's better room? The motivation to visit different places and meet new people and try new things. Uh-huh. So if you if you like to go to different places and you meet new people and you try new things, uh, learning a language can be uh, very important. Very These are, mm, those are your motivations to learn a foreign language. Okay, that's great. That's nice. So, uh, yeah, so what is it yeah. all about? But more importantly, there, there, more there are many reasons for, for learning, for learning a, a foreign language. Well, thank you. That's your yeah. dog, yes. That's your dog. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, but in your case, so please, you learned a foreign language before, right? Yeah, of course. So what's the most reason in your case why you learned a foreign language? It's easy to the, uh, communicate people. Mm, yeah, of course, in your case, yes. Yeah, in my case, it was, uh, I had to move to the US when I was 14. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, yeah the, you, you didn't have a choice, right? <laughs> uh, not much of it, but honestly, <laughs> I, don't, I don't regret it. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, you are using it for good. Anyway, you're going to use it for good. Yeah.
Okay, so what is if that? If you consider it, you know. Ah, so is this Mexican It's been over two decades, and now if that fucking shit is excellent, it's okay. Mm. <laughs> I understand the police. So Dan Fowler, Don de Esta. What is that? What's the meaning? Uh, Jay be Jay's better room, Don de Esta. Dan Fowler said, Don de Esta. I think he says don't understand because he talks Spanish and doesn't understand. Is it Spanish or Mexican? I don't know. Because uh, I think it's is Mexican. Kind of Spanish, Spanish is I Mexican. I, think I don't Spanish. know Spanish. I don't know my I don't know Spanish. I don't know Spanish. Don't understand. I don't understand in Mexican. Ah, I'm not, is... I don't even know Spanish. <laughs> Very sad. Uh -huh. What he's trying to say. Say so, so I need to go to sleep now. Thank you so oh, much. Okay, for yes, thank you so much, sis. I'm also uh -huh. leaving this. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me to your LA. Yes, yes, you are thank very you. welcome. Thank you so much. Also. Nice meeting you, GC Veteran. Thank you so nice much. Nice meeting you. And good luck with your Filipino language. Thank and, you. Salamat. Take care when you go to Philippines. Okay. Yeah. Salamat. Thank you so much, sis host. Thank you so much. Yes, good night. By the way, guys, actually, uh, yeah, follow bloggers. Okay? Have a good, have oh, a right. good evening, everyone. Wish yes, you all the a, best. Uh huh. Yeah. Have a great evening as well, please. And Jay's better room. What time is it in your place right now? Two fourteen. Ah, it's in the afternoon. Yes. Okay. All right. So have a great afternoon, Jay's better room. So that's actually the end of my live stream tonight. So I hope I'm gonna see you all again, uh, guys, in my next live stream. And for you, Jay's yeah. better room, I might be giving another uh, session for Filipino language. I'm not sure when it's gonna be tomorrow, or I don't know. Maybe another day. It depends. Okay. Okay, no worries. I'll okay, you. thank you. Salama. Have a good, have a good night, English teacher. Yes, thank you so much for coming. I'll have a good evening later on. But okay. Bye. Bye. All right. So that's the end of today's live stream, everyone. So thank you so much. I really appreciate everybody's presence tonight and the, the chat room sounds very silent now. I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> so guys, once again, this is English teacher in France. Thank you so much for being here tonight. And I wish you all, I wish you everyone a good night, good morning, good afternoon, and have a great breakfast, lunch, and dinner, everyone around the world. Thank you so much. This is English teacher in France. So if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click that belly, not, not belly, that bell button below to get more updates about my channel or maybe get more notifications when I go live or I have new videos. Okay, thank you so much. I love you all. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Yes, you are very welcome. Uh, so please, and Jay's better room, you are very welcome. Bye-bye. Yes, thank you so much, so please. What is later, so please? Ah, okay, okay, I understand. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.